Hello everybody, welcome to Five Idiots. I'm Jimmy Fantastic, my character is Judge Dacker, who is a High Elf Ranger. Hi everyone, my name is Train, and my character is Pateo, and she is a assassin, rogue, champion. <laughs> Did you say your name was Train? I heard Train. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Train. I've always been pronouncing it Tren. So, I'm trying to switch it to train. Don't look up what a train is in the U.S. <laughs> oh my god! It's not just the U.S. Jack Paul! <laughs> oh my god! Shoot people. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god! Yeah, you'd better you'd better do trend because we can't we can't stop. Oh my god! <laughs> well, hi everyone. I'm Trend, and my character is Pateo, and she is a. <laughs> 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 oh, Great ideas about this. I didn't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't know she was going to call herself Train. <laughs> this will be a great intro, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> when we one and a half introductions, and then it's like, no, scratch that. Got a remake. I mean, welcome, welcome to the Five Idiots, everybody. We've also got Adel. Adel, who are you playing, and what's your character? Well, his first is Jackball. Was Jackball? No, Jackball introduced himself. Well, he tried to. He tried to. <laughs> go, go, go on, Jackball. Go on, Jackball. Oh, my God. I already said my name. Keep going. Dimmy, you're next. <laughs> Adel's next. What's going on? <laughs> Oh my god. And my character is uh, Florigal Snarp, a goblin uh, cleric trickster. How, how does he heal people? A goblin king. He's a how, goblin how does he king. heal people though? Uh, usually he. <laughs> Through the power uh, of summon, tears. Usually he summons the power of his compassion and. Uh, tears. Through, through his tears. Mm. <laughs> they have healing power, his tears. We've uh, we got two clerics in this party now, actually. No. Oh. That moves us on to our, our next cleric, the OG cleric, the front rolling king himself, Dimrath. Dimrath Khan the Exiled, and I am a uh, half orc, and I will have my vengeance <laughs> in this life or the next. Mm. Lovely. Lovely, and I'm uh, I, I'm faulty. I keep these uh, I keep these group of ragtag idiots together, the five idiots. And, uh, and make sure they don't kill each other, which is always good. So I think we're six idiots now. Six I mean, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the jury's Are out. Sure? <laughs> <laughs> Due to my calculations, there's yeah? six of us. <laughs> So what happened last session? You guys have basically made your way over to the Wave Echo Cave because uh, Nazar, the Black Spider, is trying to open up the Forger spells, right? You're still not sure what the Forger spells is, but you know it's powerful and you want the power because you guys are uh, a power-hungry murder hobos, right? And you're obviously gonna gonna save the city whilst doing it. And yeah, what what happened last session? You guys outran some boulders down here. Trend triggered some traps. You uh, you killed your old friend Lano Glassstaff, didn't you? From the uh, from the keep before you dispatched some red brands, and uh, and Tren almost got everybody killed by kicking down a, a door full of uh, <laughs> a door yes. into a room full of ghouls. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Patea has had an epiphany. By the way, <laughs> you know she was trying to get everyone killed so she can give their load lo loot to the dragons. Give their loads <laughs> to the dragons. Oh my god. <laughs> After the train's finished, or what? <laughs> Fuck, leave me alone. Okay, anyway, um, she's no longer going to try and kill everyone. <laughs> no longer going to try. We'll see how long that lasts. <laughs> I will see. <laughs> so, um, as, we, as we start back up this session, you guys hear screaming coming from the distance of, uh, of what seems to sound like Dimrath. No. Daedal, it's the sandwich man. Yes! <laughs> More sandwiches! Do you hear that? 
Sandwiches. What are you guys gonna do? You're gonna make your way down to the uh, to the sounds of the screaming. I mean, I uh, guess we should do. Which direction do we hear it from? Do we hear it from the way we came, or from the way we think the sandwich man went? I don't know. What do you want to do? Is this? No, wait, uh, I'm assuming is the screaming is the direction the where the screams are coming from. Screams. Down. The screams are coming from down here. Yes, yeah, so from the way we came. The way you came. Yeah. Yes, I think we should down? go down the way we came. Yes. Yeah, we probably need to do that. So you're making your way through here. You guys being cautious, or are you just running? We're being rather cautious. You're being rather cautious, but right? not too cautious. Right. Because we've already cleared it a little bit, haven't we? Like, Ob obviously, I'm leaving. What, what type of screaming is it? Like, is it battle? Is it someone's in distress? Is it? Is there a train? Give, give, <laughs> give us a scream, Demi. What kind of screaming is it? Uh, uh, that's, that's the screaming you hear. to me, yeah. Yeah, then we're probably a bit faster. <laughs> I can't and, believe uh, you said that, Jack Paul. Oh my god. Make a, make a percent. Everybody make a percent. You check. said it! <laughs> you said it! Everybody make a perception check. Who's leading the party as well? Is it you, Jim? I am, yeah. Who's second? Well, I guess I am. 15. Middle second. 15. Jack Bull, where are you going to be? I'm always bringing up the rear because yeah. I'm not stupid. Wow. Perfect. So Trent's uh, in the middle. Oh, God. The Trent train. is in the middle. Right. You guys are moving around. What did you get, Jimmy? You got a 15, right? 15, yeah. What did the rest of you guys get? I'm pulling up my character sheet because I'm... I was 14, 14. 14, cool. <laughs> God, uh, sad. Six. Six. Mm. Interesting. What did Dimmy get? Uh, Dimmy's not on the board at the moment. Dimmy's screaming. It's we... Dimmy screaming. Do we recognize that it's Dimmy's screams? I don't know. Make a make an intelligence check for me. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> it's just screaming for you, Jim. Mm. I rolled a 19 plus two. It's Dimrath screaming. Dado, you and I have never met Dimrath. You ve you vaguely met him in the uh, in the tavern when it was burning down, where he sacrificed Marcus. Yeah. Start of last session. Yeah. When the yeah, tavern was did. burning down. Yeah, Dimrath was there. Oh, I thought he was gone. Okay. Oh, Dimrath. Also, was like there. we know of Dimrath extensively through hanging out with this group, right? Yeah, there's been obviously like there's been like off off stream things. Yeah, so like uh, the fact that we met uh, Dimmy briefly, like we would make a deal out of that afterwards. Yeah. You, yeah, Marcus, uh, Marcus is dead, Steve Motto. He, uh, the tavern was burnt down, and uh, and Marcus was laying on the floor bleeding. Dimmy, thankfully, put him uh, put him to rest. We've already Held avenged him though. You already have already avenged him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I relay the information to the others that it's Dimrat screaming. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really avenged him, thanks to Jack Bull, but never mind. <laughs> hey, all we saw was the people in the masks. We saw no wizard, so we avenged him. True. <laughs> right. Combat has started. We're going to oh, go into God. this encounter here. What's the bat? Uh, everybody roll for initiative. The bats. D10, right? Well, I mean, uh, no, I, he, I know there's bats here, right? I've, I discovered these bats earlier. You so discovered I, these bats, yeah. <clears throat> so I'd be like, look, everybody, there's bats in here. Um, vampire bats. Loads of vampire bats. Let's come up with a plan to fight them. 18. I rolled a 19, 18. so I've got 22 altogether. 11 plus... Wait, uh... So can we think Jimmy, of a I'm plan to fight the vampire well. bats? Uh, Please. Do we have like any explosives? Yes, because explosives inside a cave is a great idea. 
Yes. Demi, can you roll as well, please? This is the D20 plus your initiative modifier should be at the top of your sheet. <clears throat> How light is this cave? Oh, I guess I can see because I'm in... Oh, I'm everybody's out. got dark vision. Yeah. Except Jack, Jack Paul. Or does gnomes have dark vision? I do. He does. All right. Yeah, everybody, everybody has dark vision. So what's the plan? We like we just use ranged weapons and try to shoot them. Is that is that a plan? We not fireball them. I don't. I, I well, think. Are there are there any other options for dealing with these vampire bats? Could you sneak <laughs> past them? Could you subdue them? What could you do? Hey Jim, don't you have like a wand of bubbles that would drown all these bats? I do have a wand of th bubbles. Roll of three. Incredible. Shall I try the wand of bubbles and try and drown nice. them all? Think that's a good idea. Well, do we have a way? We do have ways to get past them without uh, the use of. Uh, how 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 many times can I use my wand of bubbles? Can I use it like at any time? Like millions of charges? Twice per day. Or, what? Twice per day. Twice per day. Twice. Per okay. Day. Are, Trend, these, are these vampire please. bats? Are they like hanging out on the ceiling and they're undisturbed, or are they flapping around in here? So you're uh, you're looking around and they they seem to be kind of unperturbed. They're on the ceiling, just chilling there for now. We could just try and crawl really slowly and not disturb them. Yeah, and also like, can't I? Like, are vampire bats undead? Can I turn them? Uh, seven for initiative. Uh, they are not. We could just try and be really quiet, really stealthy, and just walk, like, just yeah. crawl underneath them. How many times? Least. How many times can you use turn undead per day, Dale? Uh. Is it a normal spell? Turn undead. Shouldn't be a spell. <laughs> <laughs> choose feature lists. Ah, so it's a. Uh, does it come under channel divinity? Uh, probably. <laughs> We're going to. I think that's just once per day. Cl cleric two, PHP fifty-nine. I believe that's just once per day. All right. So you've already used it to save. Uh, yeah. <laughs> save right. save trend. Yes. Um, basically, this is the this is the old entrance um, to the uh, to the Wave Echo Caves. Many tunnels intersect at this uh, like natural thirty foot thirty foot high cavern. The walls are covered in um, like dwarven and, uh, and gnome runes. Um, below, so, oh, so these guys are thirty feet above us. Oh, we're clear. Yeah. Yep. What, what are what are uh, vampire bats scared of? Because I could alter my appearance and scare them off. I don't know, but there are there are dozens of uh, there are like rusted scraps of armor on skeletons, tattered bits of cloth on the uh, on the cavern floor. Some of them are dwarf skeletons. Some of them are, are orc skeletons. Demi, you uh, you realize? And there are a half dozen brass lanterns that are. Uh, around the edge of the room. I say we we, we, we stay as low at the floor as we can, crawl through, like and then and then just try and get through this room without being detected. Does that sound good? Yes. That sounds good with me. Okay, let's do that. Well wait, Demi isn't particularly still no wait, Demi isn't Demi's not here. Demi's not here, Demi's not here, it's alright. Yeah, we're looking for Demi. We're looking for Demi. So yeah, I, that's what that's what we'll do, Faldi, please. Okay. Make a uh, make a stealth check, everybody. Oof. I'm gonna go ahead and wait until they start moving through. Then I'll go okay. last. Wow, you're a Ooh, scumbag. Very you're stealthy. <laughs> you're, a, you're a scumbag, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> These are oh, vampire yeah. bats, and you're he's trying gonna to roll a one and fall on top. I think I'll wait a little bit. Can you roll the one? <laughs> oh god. Mm. Lovely. Can I now that uh, trace tra train? Uh, <laughs> No, I can't do it. No, nope, oh. everybody rolls still. <laughs> 11. I rolled 11. Can I give Tren afterwards pass without trace? <laughs> uh, you... <sighs> Not Possibly. after rolling a 1. I mean, no, no it's, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say if she roll a 2, yes, but that's a natural one, so that's a big fumble. Tren, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm gonna bank that for the next, like, 30 minutes. I'm not gonna make you, uh, not gonna make you lose something immediately. Okay. But uh, I'll be banking that one. <laughs> Good. As is tradition. <laughs> yeah, everyone's getting back. Did they all make it through? So one sec, so we got an eleven, we got a one. Dado, what did you get? 
12 and what modifier was it with? Self. Uh, so I should probably have at least plus two in that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You pass. Jim, how do you make it past the bats? Describe it to me. That's it. Just get in. Commando crawl all the way. Let's go. Yep. Easy. You are you crawl through and you manage to you manage to make it through unperturbed. Yeah. Right, Dadel, you're next. How do you make it over to the other side? Well, Jim stay, said stay as low as stay as low as possible, and I'm a goblin, so I'm already lower than he'll ever be. Yep. Uh, so I just skip. Skip through, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Making sure not to step on things that make any sound. Very nice. Now it comes to Tren. <laughs> yeah. You know, I start I start crawling nice and low, very slow, lie it low to the ground. Mm-hmm. You I'm, start crawling. You're I keep uh crawling. You keep crawling. There are there are skeletons on the ground, Tren. There's lots of little bits of armor and scraps around. And you uh and you accidentally ding one of the uh one of the skeletons moving over a, an old dwarven axe. And we're going to see if it wakes up the bats. Luckily, it doesn't wake up the bats. You keep crawling. You do a little bit more. You go through. You're almost towards the end. And uh, and as you're crawling through, you knock a rock, Tren. Let's see if that wakes up the bats. You're lucky it doesn't wake up the bats. Good. You make it through to the other side. Thanks, Faulty. Daedal. <laughs> What? That's not Dadel. Sorry, Jackball. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you? What are you I'm, doing, him? I'm pulling out my dim saber, but I'm not lighting it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, I rolled an 18 to get through. Okay. How do you make it through? I am already low to the ground. I just take my sweet time, very slowly, and get through there without stepping. Avoiding on all the corpses. All the good Say stuff. Again? Avoiding all the corpses, all the skeletons. I'm avoiding everything I possibly can. Okay. I'm going to follow. What I, what I wanted to do was make sure that I watched one of them go through and then I'll follow their path. It's okay. not Trent's path, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you follow the path that I skipped through. <laughs> if the little goblin does, can skip. Oh, does can Demon Cock have to make his own roll? Or did he just come with me? Uh, Demon Cock is, uh, is small enough to... Actually, no, he's wearing armor now. He's wearing armor. Oh, yeah. Demon Cock needs to make a roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! All right, he's rolled a thirteen. I don't know what his what his modifier 13. is. He uh, he passes. He just strides over the top. Glorious! Oh, right, fifteen all together anyway. So yeah, what right. a badass! In front of you, a you very stealthy crumbled, cock. You see the crumbled old entrance of the Wave Echo Caves. <laughs> to your left and right, there are two doors, both <coughs> of which are iron bound with dwarven runes on them. Mm. With dwarven runes on them. Dwarven runes. Could anyone read Dwarven? We had two people could read Dwarven. I can read Dwarven. Do you want to read them? Jimmy can read Dwarven as well. Yeah, I think I can. I think I've got a feeling that the, the, the screaming is coming from the one yeah, that I'm at. Yeah, I've got a feeling that's where it is. I'll listen to it and read the runes. Uh, you uh, you rub all the dust off of the door. I run... And, uh, go on. I I run uh, back and forth between them. Tell me what the rune says. Tell me what the rune says. Tell me what the rune says. Are you saying that? Yeah, I'm whispering it. Right, make a make a d20 roll for me, please. Are you whispering it? Okay, yeah. fair enough. Almost got you there. Uh, Almost I'm woke up the dumb, bats. Dumb. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> So, um, You're on your idiot. one, Jim, <laughs> uh, it says, uh, it says commander's office on the door. Oh. Mm. I know. Well, Jack, they're all dead. You read yours and it's, uh, it's the old guard room. Is the screaming yeah. still, is, is the screaming still emanating? I don't know. Are you screaming, Demi? Are you whimpering? What's going on? Jimmy? <laughs> you alive? Okay. That's you, Dim. That's your cue. Am I muted? Oh, you're, you're right. We can hear you now. <laughs> you're grunting. 
Mm. What are you going to do here, Jim? So I, I listen to the door and I go, oh, I recognise the sound of that grunting when I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> You, uh, you see, you go in, Jim, and you see Dimmy tied up on the floor, bound at his arms. Well, hey! Tied. <laughs> Have you been having fun with Marcus again, Dimmy? The show is over if you let this keep going. You'll be back for one episode, and this is what you do. What are you going to do, Jim? He's sitting there, screaming on the floor, hog-tied, his yeah. arms and legs tied behind I'll say, him. I'll say... Oh, Dimrath, sorry, have I interrupted you? Are you... <laughs> like, what's, what's going on? <laughs> Faulty, does my door open inward or outward? Inward. They both open inward. Okay, you see the little crook there just north of the door? I'm going to kind of be in there, and my yeah. sword, my, my, my dim saber's in hand, but I haven't popped it yet. Gotcha. And I'm waiting at that door. No worries. I'm going in to untie Dimmy. But how do you You're know he wants untying? I mean, <laughs> this is like, <laughs> I wouldn't know what to do if I saw one of my friends in this he's situation. A, he's, also, he's also been gagged at the mouth as well. So the, uh, <laughs> the screaming you hear was muffled. Don't gag him until we make sure that he's not screaming, because like, there are vampire bats out there. Totally Wait, fine. Dimmy's gagged? Dimmy's gagged. Yeah. I run right up and just rip it out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the that plan? You, uh, you run up and you uh, you rip it straight out of his mouth, a little flex of spit and uh, <laughs> bile flying out as you do so. Dimmy, you're ungagged. And I grab his face in both hands and I'm like, I shake him and I'm like, Dimrath, where have you been? <laughs> run, you fools. <sighs> where? where to? Where? Get out of here. Where to? <laughs> We're here to uh, we're here to stop the you bad want guys. To, you want us to tie you up first? <laughs> yeah, dummy. <laughs> it's not safe. We've got to get out of here now. It's really not safe. But look, I'm Dimrath, we it's not safe. <laughs> we've got to we've got to save the world, Dimrath. It's up to us. You, uh, you start relaying to him the uh, the story of basically what's happened and that there's a uh, there's a great power here in the Wave Echo Caves, the Forge of Spells. That, uh, that you go through the story of it with him, and you basically explain that it was uh, it was created by the uh, by the humans, the dwarves, and the gnomes. I, to, also, uh, to basically... make sure, I also make sure to tell Dimrath uh, and make a point out of this that Tren and Jackpot let the bad wizard escape. Mm. He's here. He's here. Is it the Drow? Is it? He's there's a shadowy figure here. Oh, the big sandwich one. man. But he gave he gave me a sandwich. But he's the big bad guy, right? Who who had the who had the shapeshifter? Did 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 Trent you put two and two him? together? And you're right, Jim. Clever from the uh, from the description that Trent was giving, you put two and two together, and you uh, you relay that information to the rest of the group. Wait, so you're telling me that the sandwich man is a bad guy? Yeah. I find if we that kill hard him, to believe. the sandwich he gave you was a peanut butter and. Uh... <laughs> And mail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it was soggy then, and we threw it in the water. <laughs> it was a great sandwich, though. <laughs> you uh, wait, wait, you explained wait. you explained for it pops into your it pops into your mind here, Jim and Trent, that uh, you've been tricked by doppelgangers before. And last time you saw Dimrath in the uh, in the Cragmore Castle, it wasn't actually Dimrath. Yeah. Hold, and you start on, to think, and the cogs start whirring, Trent. And you realise that shadowy drow figure that, that, that talked to you before is the same one that Dimrath is describing. Wait, are you actually Dimrath? I want to kick him in the shin. <laughs> that doesn't help. Stay away from me. Dimrath, you how can how can you prove to us that you're really Dimrath? Tell us something that only Dimrath, that only like we would know that Dimrath would know. Right, I'm gonna do a forward roll. <laughs> okay, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a forward roll in front of all of these guys so they know it's me. You are, you make your way up to your feet, Dim, but they're still bound together, and your hands behind your back because you haven't been untied yet. Yeah, I stopped untying you when uh, right. I had that thought about you maybe not being you. You're now standing up. Is there any right. movement at my door at all? No movement at your door. 
Not yet. Tell me something, Dimrad, or I'm gonna kick you in the shin. <laughs> and it, it better be the truth. It's me, guys. It's me. That's what you said last time, and now I was captured. You. I was captured by the shrouded figure. He's taken me in here. Why would I be bound up and tied up in this room? What Why? Well, hey. what, what you get up to in your own time, Dimrath, is nothing to do with us. <laughs> you, guys, remember. you guys are wasting time. We've got to go. We've got to no, move. Tell, tell, us why, tell us why we should believe you that you're Dimrath. Tell us something that only Dimrath would know. Okay, I want, I want to make, a, point here. That we want to make a quick point about the timeline here. Yeah. Now, Dimmy killed the bartender, right? In, in no. Mercy. You killed oh, he did. In Mercy, yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. We left there, came immediately here, yet Dimmy beat us here and he's tied up in a corner. Because the wizard, right? The wizard teleports, doesn't he? Yeah, he took me here. He took the drow teleports. The drow guy teleported. Oh, yeah. He literally teleported away from the, from the castle what thing. If Dimmy's, what if Dimmy's the wizard? What if he is? That's why we well, need I to know, yeah. I, I yeah. can't... I, Dimmy, like, are you the wizard? I can't prove it to you guys either way, but let me lead. I'll lead the charge. Like, get yes. out of my way. I'm going to storm off. I'll okay, I know how we can know this, right? Dimrath, what is your favourite sandwich? Roast beef and horseradish. Okay, it's Dimrath. It's Dimrath. Imagine if, imagine if you had a spell that could, uh, that could make people tell the truth or detect alignment. Oh, yes. I use detect evil. Oh, we have one of those spells. Lovely. Yeah, let's cut him open and see if his and blood is going to into the flame. <laughs> is his blood black? <laughs> it turns out, it turns out, train is evil. <laughs> <laughs> You're detecting evil, yeah? Yeah, and I'm also, because uh, I realized that there will be evil all over the fucking place. So I also touch Dimrath <laughs> and uh, force him to tell the truth. Right, so we need to do Zone of Truth, uh, 15 foot radius. So that'll be what? <laughs> What's the saving throw for that? Oh, man. Or is it guaranteed? It's not guaranteed, is it? It's a charisma no. saving throw. Uh... And your modifier would be... Does he... Does Daedal know if it's worked or not? It's not... It's not zone... So your your it modifier is... is are you using zone of truth? I, uh, I'm gonna check which ones it is that... Uh, which spells it is. Do, does is Daedal truth, know if it works, Faulty? Does Daedal know if it works? He does, yeah. Okay. Okay. So it'll be eight plus your um, eight plus your spell casting modifier, which will be your wisdom here modifier. Yes, yeah, saving throw charisma. Here. Yeah. Sorry. So I need to roll an eight plus or a six. Plus. So yeah. So you use uh, you use your modifier with it. So it's an eight plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah. So six plus. Yeah. I roll a fourteen. No. 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 So you tell me what your wisdom modifier is. Two. Two. Right? Plus eight. That's ten. Yeah. So everybody else makes a saving throw. Oh, alright. For uh for charisma. Everybody in the area. Oh even me. Everybody. Everybody. How big is the area? Are we all in it? You're all in it. Yes. And how do I roll for charisma? Uh so at the top of your sheet you'll uh you'll have modifiers. Oh I've got so... minus one. And it says <laughs> charisma eight. Oh, there you go. Uh, it's actually it's actually a saving throw, Dimmy. So uh, if you look to the right of that, you see where it says saving throws? Oh, and eight is the saving throw, right? No, 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 no. So go up, look underneath your name. You see the little pane that says saving throws? No. On no. the left, just underneath your name. No. No. Oh, hang on. No. I'll point it out to you. Oh, do you mean this little thing with like minus one for chat and stuff? There you go. Oh, oh yeah, it resistance. says saving throws. Yeah, <laughs> magic can't put me to sleep. I'm okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what you use for saving throws. Oh, so, an advantage on saves versus chat. Oh, I've charm, got plus two. I've got plus two. So, so you roll a d twenty and then add plus two to it. Okay. I have no plus. Oh my god! I rolled a net one. Oh, oh, nice. No, I got that 13. One. Uh, you are compelled to tell the truth, Jim. You are not compelled to tell the truth. Jim or Jim? Jim, you have to. You, you are, are the Jim. one. Jim's you are the one. I'm not. Trend Jackpot. Even that one doesn't, like, he actually, like, 
have to tell the nice. truth? Can he not not talk this time? No, he has to tell the truth. Yeah, he's all done that one. He's got to tell the Trent, truth. Trent, what did the you get? And nothing but the nice. truth. You have to tell the truth and Jack Bull. Hold on one sec, because I actually have advantage on uh, saves versus magic for Int, Wiz, and Charisma. Nice. So, so if you got advantage, you had a plus two. Yeah, so is it, well, is it is an advantage two rolls? Take the no. better? Plus two. All right, I got an 11 with that, then. You don't have to tell the truth. Ooh. All right, Demi, are you actually Demraz? I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk slowly towards Flagle Slap. You mean you're gonna hobble over there because your legs are tied? You're gonna <laughs> yep. like bounce. So you, I'll hobble over there. Hands are back tight. And I'm gonna whisp. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna like crouch over your character so I'm in your ear. Yeah. And I'm gonna go. I hate goblins. <laughs> you're terrible at blood bowl. <laughs> That's not an answer to your question. Tell me the fucking truth. Are you Dimmy? You're, just bear in mind, he's very small. If you're going to bend yeah. over Dimmy and say that, I'm going to make you make a, a dexterity check. Oh, oh. Disadvantage. Yes. Dexterity check. So dexterity mm -hmm. plus one. I got a plus one. Mm -hmm. D20? Yep. I'll roll With a, a But you're going to add minus two to it. Okay, so I rolled a two. Two. You uh you fall on uh you fall on Daedal. <laughs> You're currently crushing him from the top. Well, hey. <laughs> and, I, and I'll be like, doesn't this prove I'm Dimmy? <laughs> no, just answer the fucking question. It's me, you idiot. It's me. You don't even know me. I know I know these guys. You're flipping you around on top of him right now. It's me. <laughs> me. I'm trying to. God damn it, like you're just getting stuck. <laughs> and then, uh, You're untying Dimmy, you can't, he's crushing you. He's in his, he's in his he's armor still. Of me. He's, he's in his armor off. still. Are you rolling off of him, Dimmy? I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm Dimmy, you're, you're in plate armor, make another dex check for me. It's hard for you. Minus <laughs> it's hard to get off of you. You can say that again. <laughs> Okay, so dexterity minus two. Is thirteen. I roll a thirteen. 13. You are uh, you roll oh, off of him. You pop on the ground. <laughs> Daedal, you're uh, you're looking a bit a little bit worse for wear. A little bit squished. Yeah, I. You're right. Uh, you're right. I, I scramble up and I uh, <sighs> make my way like on my knees, uh, like crawl over to Dimmy and start untying him. And then I look up to Tren and I ask her, "Are you actually not going to kill us and hand off?" our treasures to the dragons. I will no oh. longer. So, because you saved me, I've never had anyone save me before. And so, I think we're best friends now. So I would never yes. kill you. I'd never kill you. you. And that goes for the friends. rest of us, right? Yeah, right? You, uh, you, you specify, <laughs> just uh, specify the emphasis there that you're never going to kill Daedal. <laughs> you're never, never going to kill Flagglesnap. Wow. Wow. I'm right, Dimmy, and then I go up to high five Trent. <laughs> make a make a slight of hand check both of you to see if the high five lands. <laughs> Ten. Ten. What do you get, Daedal? Uh fifteen. Nice. You managed to high five. It's a little bit off center, but it works. <laughs> As you high five, everybody's gonna roll for combat because you've just woken up the bats. <sighs> Oh man! Oh man! Roll for initiative. Well done. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, Fifteen. Eighteen. <laughs> Fuck you! I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm. Just, can I start combat by slapping? By slapping Fargo snap. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were off. screaming, <sighs> but the high five woke them up. Thank it you. Echoes, it echoes, echoes throughout the cave. Well, that was, was a glorious a crisp, high five. It, yeah, glorious. that was a crisp high five. Yeah. You start, no you start hearing shrieking coming from behind right. you in the cave and flutters oh. of wings. I rolled a seven. I rolled a seven. Uh, oh. Twelve. Six. Did we untie the Close the door. Oh, what's up, Jackball? Did we untie Dimmy? Yeah, Dimmy's untied. Yes, no. did. Okay, because okay, all I heard was he leans down, he rolls over, falls off. I never heard we untied him. I crawled over and untied him. Yeah, he crawled over and untied him, yeah.
And then yeah. he and then he high five Trent for the uh, instant vampire bat attack. <laughs> I want to close the, the door. The no, my a, cock's outside. The bat rolled a natural twenty, so uh, oh, the mats are going to start, and they're going to start with advantage because they rolled a natural twenty. Demon the cock is going to be outside the room when the event starts, which is now. And they I mean, are going it's only to... outside because you didn't put him inside, but I'll let you off. The first set of bats are, uh, are going to swoop down and start to swarm Demon Cock, Jim. I mean, this isn't fair. I, I, I didn't specify he was out there. Jack Bull specified he's out there. He's only there because you didn't bother moving him in with us. Did you specify at any point that Demon Cock came into the room? I don't have to. He's, you don't have to. He's yes, mine. He comes with me. <laughs> Wherever I go, my cock guard. goes. Okay? <laughs> he was standing point guard. <laughs> he's point guard, Jim. Do you know, Jim, if it wasn't... If it wasn't... If it wasn't anything apart from a natural 20, I'd allow you to, uh, to have Dim in the, in the room. But unfortunately, natural 20. But then surely he's again. surely he's paying attention. If he is out there, surely he's not just sitting there like an idiot. Surely he's like watching, yeah, he's watching, watching the for bats. the bats. And, yeah, and the bats just suddenly start swarming down because they've heard a large sound. So surely he can Demon react is, somehow. So Demon Cock is running back. He's made okay. it about a square. But, okay. uh, but you okay. know, that's as far as he gets. Okay. <laughs> So they start swarming Demon Cock, and they're going to roll a 17 to hit. I can't remember what Demon Cock's armor class is. Oh, God. It's the... it's the... he's got the metal armor. Um, he does. The armor. Yep, it's... It, oh, God, it's... it's that was plus six, wasn't it, the armor that he got? Yeah. I think so. so 19 is his armor class now. 19. They, uh, they don't manage to hit him. They start screeching and biting at his armor. Demon Cock starts shrieking. <sighs> And, uh, and running around in panic. <laughs> the next bat is going to attack. He gets a 12, doesn't hit. Next bat gets a 19, he is going to hit. One of, the, uh, one of the bats sinks its fangs deep in. He managed to find uh, a little gap in the armor and sinks his fangs into, uh, into your cock, Jim. <laughs> no! <laughs> Demon cock is going to take 12 points of damage. Oh my god, he's only got 10. Has he only got 10? He's only got 10. Right. Demon Cock is incapacitated at the moment. Oh, my God. Uh, each turn, he is going to have to make a saving... He's going to have to make a saving throw. If he fails three, Jim, Demon Cock is dead. Oh, my God. If he passes three or somebody stabilizes him, he'll come back with one health. Okay. Uh, you cannot be stabilized more than two times per fight uh, right. without healing. So if he's healed by somebody, he can be stabilized as many times as he wants. But if he succeeds the saving throws... Then it's only two per fight, okay? Right. So what does the what does the um, what does it mean to be stabilized? Uh, you have and to use a healing. It... You have to use a healing spell. So the healing spell can it, it doesn't simultaneously wake him up and heal him. It does. All right. Cheers. Okay. So yeah, the uh, the bat manages to find a little little chink in the armor there and. Uh, and actually gets Demon Cock's neck, and there is blood spurting out and flying God everywhere neck. across the walls <laughs> as he uh, as he lands on the ground behind him, back the back to the ground. Get distracted by all this blood on the walls. No, they love it. They're lapping it up. Yeah, so they are distracted, mm. lapping up blood on yeah. walls instead of like continuing to attack. Yeah. But they're flying around. The next set of bats are going to come down. They're going to start drinking blood, and this set of bats going to come down. They're going to start drinking blood. Lovely. Uh, it is now Jim's turn. All right, <laughs> Jim, you've you felt a disturbance in uh, in the force. <laughs> yeah. Demon cock has gone down. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally the other way around. I'll help Demon cock if you fireball the shit out of those firebats or vampire bats. I, I, Just to bear in mind, a fireball is a very big spell, and yeah, if you were I've to do that, one. you would fry Jackball and Demon Cock at the same yeah, time. Yeah, no, I've already, did, I've did, already. Did you cast it at an angle out into the? No, tree? no, no. Yeah. Look, I'll be like, <laughs> we've got, we've got to save, we've got to save Demon Cock, and I run out there, and I, uh, I take a big swing at one of them with my big old sword, split it right in half. Hopefully, are you running at one of them? Yeah. Yep, yeah. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up Demon Cock in one hand and lash out at the at the bats. Right. Bonus action. You can. Uh, they're currently on top of him, Jim. They're okay. they're clawing away his armor. You well, have to knock him off first. I'm gonna knock him off then. Go for it. You make an attack roll. Right. 
Uh, okay, okay, I've rolled a 15, that's good. And then I've got pluses as well. Um, 18. You are, how, how do one of the bats die? You cleave one of the bats in half, how does it die? Yeah, just in half, straight in half, bosh. Yeah. Cut it straight in half with a sword, lovely. Get him out of there. And then rustle up, rustle up the cock. <laughs> you uh, you pull demon cock out from uh, from from the bats, and you you hold him under your arm. He's still yeah. bleeding out and dying, Jim. He's Brilliant. limp in your arms. Yep, and I'm oh God, I've got a limp cock. <laughs> One of you's got to save him. One of you's got to heal him. I said I'll do it. Okay, good. Right, that's my turn then, I guess. That is. Are, are you moving? Back are you moving back? Me? Yeah, I'll move. So I'll move back as far as I can go. Yeah. Why? Why am I out of the room? Yeah, I'll move back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, back in the room. Perfect. Get fucked, Jack Bull. <laughs> <laughs> can we now close the door? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm not worried. Dim's gonna come help me. Dimmy's got balls. Who's next? Like the little who, goblin who, who rolled in the uh, initiative? Uh, next it will be Daedle. Alright, so I'm next. Well, I want to fucking close the door. But I can't if Jack Bull's still out there. Uh, so I tell uh, whoever's going to act like after, immediately after Jack Bull to close that door. Uh, I'm prepared to do so. And then I uh, turn over, put my hands on Demon Cock, <laughs> and channel like sadness, a deep sadness from like a childhood memory of uh, me losing my first pet. Uh, to like put myself into Jimmy's shoes right now, what he's feeling, it, like he's as he's about to lose his cock. Jim is, cry Jim is sitting there as well, crying on the floor no. with Demon Cock. <laughs> Trying to trying to resuscitate his cock. Yeah. So I can feel his pain, how much it would have hurt to lose your cock. Um, and because I've been there when I was a kid. Um, and I I can I can sense I, I can I can really sense uh, Jimmy's sadness and it's starting to like sink into me. So tears start uh, flooding down my uh, cheeks and dripping onto demon cock. Nice. Are you going to use a healing spell? Yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> no, a healing spell you're going to use. <laughs> this, this part was just for fun. <laughs> <laughs> because you've uh, because you've cried, you can empower your healing spell by two two life points. Uh... Where's... Oh my god! What the fuck are my healing spells called? Uh, cure wounds. Um... So that, because like he's bleeding a lot, right? So I need to stop that. Um, uh, your potions also work on Demon Cock. But yeah, you can use cure wounds. Yeah, so you I touch, just... you touch Demon Cock, and you'd uh, you'd have one d eight plus your spellcasting <laughs> modifier. Like this is uh, this is such a like vivid memory, and Jim's pain so real. Like I, I feel like uh, the the spell really resonates with me. Uh, so that's why that's. The first course of action is better. Like I know we'll be stronger than the potion. Um, no effects on undead or constructs. A demon, a vessel mm -hmm. chickens. A living creature. Is he a living creature? Yeah, but I don't know. No, he's a demon. A technically living creatures. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um. So one d eight plus one d eight through SL plus zero wisdom. Um, so you do one d eight plus your wisdom modifier. Yeah, and that's zero, I think. And then plus two because you cried. <laughs> oh, eight. Uh, oh, hey. Plus two, so he's fully healed. Fully you pull healed. Him up to ten points. Good. Jim, your uh, your cock, the uh, the wounds <laughs> on his neck start to close up, and he's healed. He comes back to life miraculously. Yes. Um, however, I hugged he is, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> I know. I, I hugged Jimmy afterwards. He is going to have a debuff, Jim, for uh, for going out to vampire bats. Uh, every 24 hours, he needs the taste of human blood. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> otherwise, he will. Uh, otherwise, he will go into a frenzy. Brilliant! A vampire demon cock. Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! 
as I try to hug Jimmy afterwards, like I can barely reach through like uh, half his chest, right, with my arms. If, uh, if you if you fail to feed him, by the way, once per session, yep. or state that you do, at some point he is going to frenzy, and okay. he is going to attack anybody in his path okay. until he gets blood. Um, does goblin is goblin blood good enough? Goblin blood is good enough. Good. <laughs> good Any to know. Humanoid. Good to know. <laughs> Remember, Jimmy, that I'm the one who saved your cock. Yes, thank you very much. And I, 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 I give, I give Flagle a big hug, and I'm like, thank you. You're not that bad for a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to remember this when he needs to feed. Yep. Right. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> uh, Jack why, why, why are you lining up all of these pins for easy strikes that are faulty? <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot is you next. <laughs> all right, there's no way I'm going in that room because I'm not going to get locked into a room where we're cornered with bats on one side and guards on the other. So how many bats are around this corner here that I can see from where I'm at? You can see three but you're hearing the flapping of at least nine. Okay, but are they close enough for me to interact with? Yes. Yeah, Jimmy just kicked the shit out of him in front of your eyes. They're, uh, they're currently licking up demon cock blood off the floor. Three of them right there, or two of them? Because he killed them now. Two of them on the two. floor. There's uh, there's one corpse in front of you. That's uh, split okay, in two of them. The other ones are far enough back, right? Yes. Okay, so I can do two attacks around, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to strike each of them with... Uh, I'm going to light up the dim saber and, and I'm cutting two of them in half or trying to. Go for it. You, uh, you pop out of the corner. Your, uh, your training kicks in. Two bats in front of you. So let's see. 15 plus. Oh man, I got to remember what my pluses are for this weapon. So 15 plus 8. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, are, are, they, they are they considered undead or not? Did we establish that? No, uh, they're not undead. Not undead. Okay, so 1d8 plus 8 damage. Yep. So 7 plus 8, 15 damage to the first one. How does it die? Oh, I just saber that thing in half. Yeah. Is it cauterize the wound? Does it just cut it cleanly oh, yeah, in half? Yeah, or is yeah. that I mean, it's, flying it's everywhere? Blade, right? it's, a, it's the dim blade, so it just, yeah, that's... We could eat these bats if we wanted to shortly thereafter. Mm. <laughs> And then I rolled a 9. 9 plus 8 is 17. You hit. 7 plus 8, 15 points. How'd you kill it? Same thing, just right in half. Two, two swift, one down and is one the, uh, up. Is the first one up and the other one is on his way down? That's a, yep, that's just a simple uh, wham wham and then back into that corner and I'm covering that door. Anything comes out that dead. door, I'm kneecapping it. <laughs> Wait, you're going back into that corner? I... Yeah, I'm not getting cornered. You guys are the ones who are cornering yourself in a room when there's a guard room across the hall. Uh, so you, start to hear, you start to hear clawing. <laughs> you start to hear clawing, Jack Bull, coming from the door behind you. Okay, so there's ghouls in that door. They so. The, well, you listen closer and make a perception check for me. Eleven. You hear the clanking of bones. Okay, so skeletons and or ghouls and or zombies. More than like a skeleton. Do you want to shout that over to us? <laughs> Say again? Do you want to shout that information over to nope. us? I'm, I'm just waiting at this door, man. And uh, yeah. you know what I'll do is Mate, I... You're going to learn your you. lesson about making so I'm noise. I'm going to take with, with my off hand. <laughs> yeah. With my off hand, I'm going to take grip of the door and make sure that the door handle can't turn. Yeah. Oh, it's it's, a, it's an old school it's an old school pull style door. You've okay, got so a, you've I'm, got just gonna, I'm just going to hold on to it. So if I feel like any extensive tugging, I know what's coming. Yep. So I'm not going to like make any. Hits, I'm, not gonna push in. I'm just holding. It's probably you. It's probably you just coming. Yeah. I know what's coming when it, when there's extensive tugging. Perfect. Up next is <laughs> Dimmy. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Can we scream to so, Jackal to get over here? Is the right just to check? Is the cock stable? I know you healed him to the cock health. is stable. Okay, so I'm gonna let out a battle cry. Well, no, I'm not gonna let out a battle cry. I'm, I'm gonna let out a battle cry if you want. No, no, I don't want to. Am I? Am I still on the floor? No, no, you're up. Okay, so I'm gonna. You're untied. You've got your weapons. You've got your armor. You're ready for battle. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Unsheath my uh, axe 
and I'm gonna charge towards the nearest bat, and I'm gonna take a swing. So you run outside and you charge towards the, uh, a cluster of bats in front of you, <coughs> and you're gonna go for a swing. Yes. Fucking camera. Yes. See it, Dimrath. I'm excited. I'm I'm so excited. Yeah, you need to show us from the other side. The it pro it protested your video device. That it was showing your bad side. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so... Need to do this. Swap sides, yeah. Yeah. Oh god. Why does it say weapons? <laughs> oh, here we go. War. Oh no, it's not an axe. I apologise. It's a warhammer. 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 Oh, warhammer. Yeah, it's my warhammer. warhammer. Because we haven't altered your weapons since you've leveled up, because you were level two before, you're going to have an extra plus four to damage to scale you up for this instance. Holy. Yes. And you're going to have an extra plus two to hit to whatever it says Ooh. on the on the shoot. All right. So, oh, hang on. What does it say? Warhammer versatile one d ten, one d eight extra on critical. Okay. So to hit five plus, it's got a five plus to hit anyway. Yeah, so you add two to that. Uh, so seven plus. So yeah. it's so 16. you roll a d twenty and then you add the seven. Yeah, uh, you hit the bat. Right, Go for the well. damage. Uh, which is a D8, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what does it say on there? Oh, no, it's 1D10. Yeah. Which is the blue one. So it's 7. Yeah. Uh, I didn't roll critical, did I? So it's, no. yeah, it's 7. 7. Have you got any pluses to it? Uh, we'll say after. No, 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 no. On on a crit, I have an extra 1D8. But... Oh, no, 1D8 plus 2. Just check your weapon sheet. Yeah, it says... I'm pretty sure you've got you've got okay. more than just a D8's worth of damage. I'm one D8 plus two is what it says, and I rolled a D10. Oh, one D8 plus two. So you add the so you're using no. the warhammer, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So so, yeah not, nine two. points of damage. Nine. Points and then you add an extra plus four. Just edit uh, this 13, on your sheet, by the way. Yeah, if you 13, can. Thirteen. Thirteen points. Thirteen of points of damage. Um, yeah. you smack your hammer around. You throw it around in the air, Dimmy. You swing it wildly. And you, uh, you smash a bat into the side of the cave entrance, uh, just here. And uh, and you basically cleave off half its body. It's flapping around on the floor, almost dead. Yeah, and as the bat's blood sprays across me, I just wipe my brow. Nice. All right, what are you going to do with the rest of your turn? You got the movement left? Uh, I'm going to... got gonna, bonus action? I'm going to tuck in next to uh, Dalton. You're gonna tuck in next to him. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna let him know that there are definitely undead in this room behind me yeah. since he's a cleric. As, as you leave the uh, as you leave the attack circle of the bats, they are gonna get an attack of opportune on you. Yeah, um, that's fine. As you're that's moving fine. out of range of them, that's fine. They're gonna get a 19, which uh, breaks your AC. They're gonna hit you. And uh, they're gonna hit you for four points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Does he too need to suck blood every 24 hours? Uh, no. If he was down, then yes. Uh, Dimmy, on your sheet, by the way, you see where it says set max HP? Yeah, 20. So click that, then click change max HP to, and then total average HP. So it should say 41. Hang on. What? Click. So click set max HP, change the <coughs> HP to. For 41. And it's uh, the option that says 41, yeah? Change max HP to 41, there we go. Yeah, perfect. So what, and then I took four points on... Took four 30, points of damage. 37, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, he manages, one of the bats just manages to claw its way onto you. The bat that was actually half dead manages to flap its way up to you, Dimmy, and uh, and claws into the back of your neck. You uh, you get over to Jackball and you manage to squish the, uh, squish the bat against the wall behind you, killing it, finishing it off. Nice. Up next, I believe, is uh, is you, Trent. Exciting. So I'm currently in a room with a closed door, correct? The door is open. The door is open. The door is open. I go Don't you leave us out there. You can see I Dimrath and uh, you can see <laughs> <laughs> you can see two people in front of you, like cowed in a corner. I shut the door. <laughs> oh. You uh, you walk over and you pull the door shut. Choose. And <laughs> <laughs> YouTube, not the end of the stream. 
Amazing. Mm. Guys? Amazing. Guys? That's all I do. <laughs> Guys? Wow. Guys? I can't hear you. Door's shut. Door's shut. Not listening. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Is that all you're going to... Oh, God. What'd you say? Is that, is that all you're going to do, Trent? Yeah. Is that oh all you're going to do? You're just going to shut the door? I'm just going to shut the door. What and the hell I are they would... doing, Dalton? <laughs> <laughs> you could cackle maniacally. <laughs> as soon as we get out of here, we're getting the fuck going, brother. <laughs> I mean, I told you to get in here and to shut the door. We mm. want to keep the door shut. I thought you were here to save me. <laughs> <laughs> we did save you. And then save you yourself. You <laughs> both run the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys doing out there when you can you are out there? Bats and not dead out there. And you want to be out there? <laughs> you look over at uh, a trend and she closed the door. She's waving as she closes the door. <laughs> 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 do you want to do anything else, Tren? Um... Grab a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I, before I close the door, I'll cast Dancing Lights in a humanoid figure and send it running away from us. The towards the bats. Cantrip, you're gonna yeah. send, you're gonna, okay, that's fine. So you, uh, you send your little orb of light out. And uh, let's see if it attracts the bats. Oh, they're actually scared off by it, Trent, and they're uh, they're flying back a little bit. Oh, wow. Good. Mm. I still close the door, though. You <laughs> close the door, sure. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, that was the main action. <laughs> you, um... Right, you close the door. It's now the bats' turn. 16. So the bats are actually going to start swarming and flying down into this corridor over here. Because they've uh, they've got the scent of blood. And they're, they're going to get multiple attacks in now. So they're going to attack. First bat is going to go for Jack Bull. And it is going to get a 7, which doesn't break your armor class. Next one is going to go for Jack Bull again. Gets a 7, doesn't break armor class. Next one's going at Dimrath. Natural 20 is breaking your armor class. Uh, so we'll do that in a moment. So that's one, two more bats to roll. This one's going after Jack Bull. 19, that breaks your AC. That's going through. Next one's going after Jack Bull. 10, doesn't break your AC. So you're getting one bat attacking you each at the moment. The rest of them are just flying and swarming about. Some of the bats are trying to uh, are trying to get in through the little cracks in the door, little cracks in the rocks, Tren. The door you've just closed, they're clawing at it. You can hear them screeching out there. The first bat is going to go for you, Jack Bull. And it is going to do... Let's have a look. It's going to do four points of damage. It uh, it nicks at your ear. It's flying at you. It's tearing at your ear with its uh, with its little bat beak. Well, little bat bat mouth. <laughs> it's little bat, bat mouth. Beak. Bat beak. I was like, bats do bats have beaks? What? <laughs> 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 with bats. A bat beak. So he's gonna attack you, and you're gonna take that damage. Um, ugly noses as well. Almost. They like do. Yeah, they do. Uh, um, so you're going to take that. It starts nicking at your ear, and it's pulled off a little bit of skin, Jack Bull. The next one's going to go after you, Dim, which we've established hits. And that was a 20, wasn't it, for the bat? Yeah. So this oh, is going to be critical on Dimmy. So I'm going to roll double damage. Let's have that modifier. Dimmy, you are going to take 14 points of damage. Um... Bat this bat serious. is this bat is really vicious. It's uh, it's going straight for your throat where the blood is warmest. Oh. So Dimmy is minus eighteen HP now, right? Yeah. I'm on yeah. Uh, 20, 23 out of forty one. Dimmy, it's it's literally tearing out your throat at the moment. It's <laughs> going for you. You're uh, you're you're trying to stop it, but your armor is making it difficult to to bat it away from your throat, and it's tearing away at you. Sound a little nook in the armor. 
And uh, yeah, that's going to be the bat's turn done. Next up is Jim. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> I shall turn to uh, to Flagle and Pater and say, so what do you want to do? Should we just should we just wait for those two to deal with all of the bats, or should we like try and you know, like open did, the I... door and swing and then shut it? Or what do you think? You, are, you hear Dimmy screaming from the uh, from the next room as bats are tearing away his throat. Oh right, we we just let them leave him to it then. I, I th- <laughs> 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 I think what, what we could do is bring out torches because like they seemed scared of Trent's uh, light figure so if we bring out the torches we could like rush out there at once all three so, of us with a torch each and start swinging about if you remember in the description if you remember in the description there are torches in the main room that are, that are unlit on the wall all yeah, prepared so and could, ready to go we could make it for the uh, make a run for it because like we have we all brought um uh, torches i think it's easy if we just go ham and kill them right because i killed one pretty easily you know Tim, i'm sure dimmy's no, killed a few be, i won't be able to like kill one you've got a dagger yeah but i'm a fucking golden cleric <laughs> i'm not gonna kill one you i can put you on my shoulders again <laughs> oh that's a good point then we could kill one each um <laughs> You can reach them. But I want to do it with a torch, because I think that would be more effective than uh, with um, with the use of my dagger. They're bats, not moths, by the way. Yeah, yeah, they're, ba- they're vampire bats. They were bats. scared of the light. They were scared of Trend's light. So I'm going to do it with... I'm going to burn them, uh, like or attempt to burn them slash smash them with a torch instead of, like, trying to use a fucking dagger sitting on Trent's shoulders. Like, that seems... A I don't scary. understand why that's mental, but a, but a torch is completely normal. <laughs> it's it's going to have some positive effect, even if I don't manage to hit them. Hmm. Are you going to do that? We've, also, we've already got torches anyway, haven't we? I've got a torch, yeah, for sure. Yeah, we, we brought torture, torches as part of, like, our... Uh, so are you going to light up? Are you going to light up the torches? I'm gonna light I don't have one, so could I? Can I get one? Shoulders. I've got a Jim, torch. You can have. You can have my it's torch. It's currently. It's currently. It's currently Jim's turn. If you want yeah. to do that, Jim, you could spend your turn helping them do this. If you wanted yes. to you spend your action. Yeah. Well, I'll. I'll. Yeah. I'll. I'll get my. I'll light my torch and I'll give it to Trent and I shall say, "There you go. You can. Uh, you can fight. You can fight bats with fire." <laughs> Are you also helping me up on? Uh, and I'll help. I'll help Dirtle on the Trent's shoulders. Yes. <laughs> and I shall put demon cock on my shoulders. <laughs> uh, with a torch in his hand. You can no. dexterity check, Dale. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't get the carry at Make a dexterity check with plus two, because Jim's uh, helping him. Yeah, eighteen. Yeah, uh, you make it up to trend shoulders. <laughs> um, Jim, you uh, you start to feel. Demon Cock's uh, heartbeat start to rise, and, uh, and his chest, his little chicken chest, start to uh, to pound. Oh, so have, have I, am I going to work out that he needs to eat blood? He's uh, he's looking, he's looking at Daedal on top of. Uh, he's, he's looking at Flagler Staff on oh. top of uh, Patea. Oh, it looks mighty tasty. So, d- d- am, am I like? Can, can I just work this out? Can I roll the dice to work it out for my character to work? Yeah, go it for out? it. Make an intelligence check. Okay. Okay, Fail. let's go. Yeah, it's a fail in real life. It's uh, this one though is a. Oh my god! No, no, it's Stephen Cox. I was like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. <laughs> it's Stephen Cox. Thirteen. Uh, you know he needs blood. Okay, all right. Because yeah, okay. So he's been, and he needs it now. Does he? Oh. I don't know. I mean, he's, uh, uh, he's he's looking at. He's looking. He's looking at the plenty, goblin. He's looking at the goblin. Plenty of blood out there. From Demi's he needs humanoid body. blood, Daedal. He's he needs humanoid, humanoid blood. blood. Demi's been bleeding out. So he needs human- I don't know that. He's out. He's out the door. You're yeah, in here. True. You're in here. And my yeah, cock right. needs to feed. Uh, look, look at the tables <laughs> of turns. For you. Look at the tables of turns. The cock yeah, needs to feed. You're here, Daedal, and the cock uh, needs to feed. Who's on your turn? Pick your ass. I mean, we're uh, we're gonna roll a uh, we're gonna roll a d100 here. Oh, and uh, anything above sure. anything above sixty, Jimmy. So anything above sixty is uh, actually in this case it's gonna it's gonna be scaling, right? So at the moment, 
anything above 30, going to be fine. Next turn, anything above 40, going to be fine. Right. And it's going to scale up and up and up to see if he right. bloodlusts, all right? Okay. He rolled a straight 40. Okay. So but, he's safe for now. But I'm aware that it's like, it's pretty urgent. Uh, I mean, you, you can tell he's hungry and he wants to feed. He's hungry and he wants to feed blood, right? He's licking his chicken lips. How much does he need to eat? Do I, do I, do I have any idea? No idea. No idea. But uh, but you, you can commune with him, right? Because you can yeah, commune with, your, with animals. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. yeah. He's, he, he's, telling, he's telling you he's hungry and he's telling you that he wants to taste flesh. Oh, God. How how hungry are you? How hungry are you, demon cock? <laughs> yeah, he tilts his head at you and goes mildly. Mildly. Mildly hungry. Okay. okay. But I could go for some goblin. <laughs> oh, Flagel, I'm really sorry. Especially as you've stabilised him. But, you know, you've got to know he was hit bit by a, a vampire bat, right? Yeah, and no, I, I'm, I'm I think he gonna... needs to feed. I think yeah, he no. needs to feed, Flagel. Not right now. I'm preparing to fight, fight He all needs to feed, Flagel. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm uh, pointing my torch. I'm holding he needs. my torch out. He Not needs. Right he needs yeah, to feed. He, to, he can wait till we fought off the bat. Patea, Patea, my cock needs to feed. I'm staying out of this. I'm staying out of this. <laughs> he needs to feed. He needs to feed. I can't feed him. He doesn't. He doesn't like my blood. That's not. I can't believe that's true. Well, I. I that's what I'm saying. <laughs> demon, uh, demon cock looks. You. As you say that, demon cock looks up at you. And, uh, and you feel the intensity starts to go up another notch, Jim. Oh, God. <laughs> Open the door and let's scare off the bats, and then he'll ke he can have his feed. Hey, all right, then. So you've, you've helped him do all that. Next turn is Dale. It's me now? All right, it is you. I, but, but I'm acting with Tren now. Can't we act at the same time? Um. Okay. Yeah, you can act at the same time. I, I mean, I have to react yeah, yeah. to yeah, what yeah. she's doing, because she's... Maneuvering me. Trent, it's your turn. Okay. Faulty or <laughs> Dino, are we going out there? Yeah, let's uh, scare off some bats. Okay. We I got the torches the ready. Are you pulling the iron banding on the door to open it up? Yep. I'm as you uh you you ready, Daedal, yeah? Yeah, I'm ready as shit. <laughs> as you uh as you open up the door, uh, a, a swarm of three bats just flies past you into the room. You, uh, you try and swing your torch around, but uh, it's a very big door, and they sneak past anyway, and uh, and they're going to be in the room now. Well, do we peep out open. then? We peep out, right? Yeah, you can peep out if you want, but there are bats in the room now. Can't we peep out and close the door? <laughs> no! <laughs> I, I leave the room and I close the door. <laughs> oh my god. Are you actually going to leave the room and close the door? What do you think? <laughs> I think that's a little bit mean, <laughs> but I do think we should get out there if the bats are gone. I mean, if they're gone, I can react. Like, it's it's stupid, like, going in order like this, if it's real, right? You're not just going to stand there like a goober, right? <laughs> You're not just going to stand there and go, Oh, I've acted, now I'll just freeze and wait for five minutes. Brr. Sometimes you just got to suspend your disbelief, Jim. I'm no, sure no, I'm not having that. I'm you not having that. In the room. I'm not having it, it's fucking stupid. Jim, you can see him closing the door, so I will allow you no, to I'm make not, a... Not the door. The door. Are you not closing the door? The then you're fine, Jim. You're fine. They're not closing the door on you. Okay. It's all good. Okay. No need to cry, Jim. It's okay. It's fucking it's stupid. Right. It's a right. shit game. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing with your turn, Tren? Um, I'll try and stab the nearest bat. That'd be difficult. They're a flying creature and you're going to do it with finesse, but you can try. <laughs> okay. Oh, baby. Let's go. <laughs> What'd you roll? <laughs> Hold on. 25. <laughs> and what damage do you do? <laughs> A uh, D8 plus 6. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Gotta get my dice out. Oh, God, Doodle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Wait, here we go. This is a D8. <laughs> Eight plus six. <laughs> you hit. You managed to skewer one of the bats. It's still alive, but it's on the edge of your rapier. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> you skewered a bat. I lit it with my torch. Yep. Go for it. Yep. Yep, you light it. Uh, we don't actually have damage your torch. I'm going to say roll a d8. Uh, it's already being held there, so you're going to hit it. I rolled a uh, two. Two. You, uh, you set the bat on fire, screeching. Uh, you flapping its wings, skewered on this rapier. The smell of fresh bat cooking starting to fill the cavern. It, like, this... Bad. This rapier is now on fire, so now we have two two sources of light, uh, two sources of fire. Uh, well, three. The bat's on did fire. The did you did fire. you 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 lit your torch as well? So you have your rapier in one hand and torch in the other, Dren, right? I'm double fisting, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I have my torch. So there, are, <laughs> there are now three. Uh, sources of fire uh, <laughs> emanating from us. Like, does this have any effect on the bats at all? Uh, yeah, they're, they're not happy with it. I mean, they're flying around more frantically. You've enraged them because of the sources of light. All right, so uh, um, what do we still <coughs> need? What do we make of the method that is Dimmy and, uh, and Jack Bull? I mean, you see a bat clawing at Dimmy's throat right now, and Dimmy trying to bat it away. Right, can I, like, <laughs> can I tug on Trent to make her, like, try to get her attention to change her direction? You might struggle. Her? <laughs> <laughs> You're just not pulling house. her hair, yeah? <laughs> no, I'm not pulling like, her hair. Like, Ratatouille, Ratatouille. But I'm trying to, like, uh, I'm trying to guide her, <laughs> trying to steer her, like... You, uh, you, you reach, you reach down with your free hand, you, uh, you gently slap her on the face and point in front of you over to Dimrath. Yeah, you go slap, slap, and uh, point over to Dimrath in front of you. I stop over, like, dude, dude, dude. <laughs> I hold out my torch to, like, try and, uh, shoo the bat away from Dimrath. Do you uh, do you like fire? Being a half orc, what's, no. what's your opinion on fire? You don't like fire. No, because mm. it, it brings back memories from uh, being in war and something happening and uh, people burning. And I, I I have a a fear that almost takes me out of myself into. Uh, a childlike mode to get away from the fire. Like Team America and the blueberries. <laughs> exactly, Jim. Exactly. <laughs> so as Dadal approaches me with a fire, I'm like, oh! 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 Whoa, fire! Fire! And I, and I cower into the corner of the door. <sighs> what happens with the bat? Does it stop feeding under me? Are you cowering into the door? Are you pushing up against the door? Just to clarify. Well, I have to. Like, I just have to get away from the fire. There's oh no boy, Jackpot! Which door? Mm -hmm. Which way does that door open? Inward, but I'm holding on. To oh the boy! Shit. So let's <laughs> see. Let's door. see if you can make a strength check. <laughs> Dimrath is a half orc. Half orc. He's a big boy. You're gonna I do it with disadvantage. You roll an eight. Have you played armor? Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Let's roll for the door. The door also rolled an eight. You are safe for now with defender's advantage. <laughs> Very lucky. But yeah, Dado, what are you going to do now? So Dimrath is carrying in the corner. If you're, you're waving a torch in his face. Well, I can tell that he's distressed by it, but we need to get the bat off of him to stop feeding him. Mm -hmm. Stop feeding on him. So like, I, I try to make Trent stop. <laughs> Uh, Brilliant. Try and go over that. No, try and stop. <laughs> but uh, I also try to tell, uh, try to like uh, come up with a plan for next turn for what I can do to like he help heal Dimmy and try to start communicating with him silently because uh, I can tell that Jackpot is struggling with the door. 
Jack will pull on that door. Coincidentally, Jack Bull, it is now your turn. Okay, so Dimmy is cowering, so now he's low enough for me to, to take action against this bat, right? He is, yes. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to grab Dimmy by his collar below the bat mm -hmm. to, try to, to try to alleviate the pressure against the door because i got to let go of the door. <sighs> with, and I'm going to grab that son of a bitch bat by the other hand, and I'm chucking him against the wall as hard as I can. For it. What am I rolling for that? Uh, you're going to be doing a that's grapple that's check. That's an unarmed attack, I would assume. Are you going to... Well, you got to be a grapple against the bat, right? Because you're not attacking it. You're trying to grapple it initially. What's your what's your highest like, what's your highest stat that you'd reasonably use for a grapple? Is it straight I, I up... Just, is, well, it, is, is it straight, straight up to strength modifier? Right? It depends or? on what I'm going to... Which one's higher for you? Dexterity, 17 Dex plus 3. Check to see if you can snatch a bat. Yeah, right? explain to me how you do it. And then well, you like can, said, uh, and then I'm, you can do I'm it. I'm grabbing your Dimmy's collar, like the the the, yeah. the front scruff of his armor. Yeah. So I, I stabilize him, so he's not quite leaning, because yeah. I'm assuming he's leaning back. Yes. And then, and then, then you the grab right the hand, bat. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to snatch this bat, and I'm just okay. going to right against the hard wall. Make a dex check for me. You can have it with a, an extra plus two. You can have it an advantage to that as well. Okay, so thirteen plus three is what? Sixteen plus two is eighteen. Yeah. You, are, you grab the bat, it's currently in your hand. I'll just smash, you know what, instead You're I'll gonna just start smash smashing it against the wall? smash no. his head right against the rocks next, or the, the wall right next to us. Why are you cool. not lighting it on fire on this? Because I don't have a torch and I'm not going to put my hand into fire, dude. I'm just, I snatched <laughs> yeah. this bat, I'm just smashing Also, Dimrath's scared of fire, don't bring more fire in the equation. God, you're obsessed, table. <laughs> Skewer it onto the other, like next to the other. Are you Sancho, Daedal? On Trent's uh, rapier. I'm just, I'm just smashing its little head right against the rock. Or make right a, against the make an unarmed, make an unarmed strike with a plus four because you've grappled it. Okay, my unarmed strike also carries a plus six to hit. So yeah, perfect. So plus literally four. Well, you you don't actually need to hit it; just do the damage because you grappled it. So three plus three, six total damage of bludgeoning. Yeah, you uh, you start scraping and smashing its head against the cave wall as it uh, as it goes limp, as you've literally ground its head off. All right, I'm gonna drop him, and then with a bonus action, if this is possible, can I pull one of my potions out and quaff it down, Dimmy? Yeah, you can. Those bats are dead, by the way. No more bats around you guys currently, apart from the one on Trend Sword, which is slowly getting roasted. All right, so I'm going to pour my potion right down Dimmy's throat. I'm hoping to calm him down, you know. Yep. And I'm going to wave Daedal's fire. <laughs> I'm going to wave, uh, what is it, uh, the 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 um, Master Blaster here behind me of <laughs> Daedal and Trent away. Dimmy, you're going to allow him to, uh, to shove this potion down your throat. Yes, I absolutely am. Nice. I mean, a bad way. You uh, you shove the potion down his throat, and it does the healing, and uh, his wound on his neck starts to close up. You're starting to to panic a little bit less. You can feel the healing power. How much are you healing him for? So it's what is it? One d eight plus two. I think one d eight plus two for those those right. healing potions. Yeah. Cool. So heal six, Dimmy. Six. So I'm up to twenty nine. Yeah. Next is your turn, Demi. Right, so after Patea has completely let us all down, <laughs> I'm feeling what? rowdy. I'm feeling pissed Don't off. Let anyone down. What? Right, and I am. Fuck you, Demi. I am. Dimrath <laughs> and. I am going full survival mode, Dimrath. I've yeah. like I nearly got burnt by the fire, which dragged me back to my war-torn past. Mm. Um, I, I'm like the PTSD is kicking off, and like I just got to I've got to get out. You're of going here. full like, war mode. Yeah, yeah, but not only that, I'm grabbing my brother Jackball or Dalton. I'm gonna grab Dalton. Yeah. I'm gonna push Dadel and Tren out the way, and I'm gonna drag him up and north. So we're furthest away from the skeleton door, and we're furthest away from the bats, and they can deal with that shit. Make a dex check, Dadel. Uh, 
19. You, uh, you've just about managed to stabilize yourself as you're pushed back. Tren, I'm going to bank in that one from earlier, and you're going to oh. slip as they run past you. <laughs> and uh, You guys make it up here. While, while you run away, Dimrath, do you go, Quick, Jack, we've got to get to the foxhole. <laughs> yeah, um, basically, yeah. Like, <laughs> screw, like, oh, mate, I'm livid, and I'm scared, and I'm terrified, and I just need to... Get out so, of here. Back to the you, uh, you slip back, Trent. Daedal, you go flying, and you're uh, you're going to knock open the door and land in the room. Amazing. You're not going to take any damage, though, because you passed your dex check. Congratulations. But that door wasn't closed. The no, door you was still closed. Through it. No, you said it wasn't. You said it wasn't. Did not Trent not close the door? Okay, no, well, you I didn't like. Close okay, the door. that's fine. You go flying through anyway. <laughs> yeah. You go flying through but the doorway. Passing the dex check is such a. It was Sweet a couple. Matter. I land on my feet. Mm, what did I you roll? Get... What did you roll? Nineteen. No, you land. You don't land on your feet. That's to not take damage. Do another dex check for me to see if you land. Now make an acrobatics check, please, to see if you land on your feet. Trend. Sixteen. Trend. Plus, no wait. Do I have plus two on that? Uh. Acrobatics. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Plus two, so eighteen again. Yeah, you land on your feet. Trend. You are going to, uh, you're going to make a dex check for me. Again, we're going to see if you take any damage. That doesn't look good. What did you roll? <laughs> did you roll another one? <laughs> I rolled a two. <laughs> you roll a two. You're, uh, you're going to smash six. your head to the ground and you're going to get a concussion. That's what you get for shutting the door. That's what you get for shutting the door. You're going to get a concussion. You're going to get a concussion. He shot that door first, right? <laughs> Any form of like trying to do things together. Friend, no, you're gonna you get a concussion. Down. You're gonna take two no, points no, of damage. You smash your head. Didn't want to come back. I didn't start this. I didn't start this. I didn't start this. Just remember that. You did. Flag will slap. Flag will slap. I did not. Didn't start it. Jimmy, you want to do anything else with your turn? You want to prepare an action for next turn? Anything you want to do? Uh, you used your movement. Like, I you don't got. Think I was you can use a bonus action. You can prepare something for next turn. So let's say if something comes near you, you can cast something instantly. Okay. Can I like? Can I like load my crossbow? Yeah. Or... You, we assume that it's already loaded and bound to your side. Okay. Uh, what about like channel? Okay. No, no, no. It's cool. It's you cool. could prepare a cantrip for when somebody comes around the corner. Like, uh... so I can use it as a bonus action for like next turn or something. Or well, it would just it would just trigger if something comes around the corner. Oh, okay. You're healing yourself in your so let, let's say, for example, sacred flame. Right? We use that as your uh, as your main action. So yeah. you're going to prepare a sacred flame if a creature yes. comes around. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. We're gonna just keep it stored. That sounds perfect. Yeah. No worries. That's ready to go. Next up is you, Jim. Right. First thing we're going to do on your turn, however. <laughs> The first thing we're going to do in your turn is we're going to see if Demon Cock frenzies. You now require a 40 for him not to frenzy. The first thing I'm going to say is I've just seen Daedal come through the door, right? Yep. Flagel Star was just come through the door. I'm going to say Demon Cock, you know, they've left, they've, those two run out of the room, left me in here with these bats. I'm going to say Demon Cock, help yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Don't actually going to do that? Yeah. Don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Oh my god. Right. I'm gonna uh, sit down in the corner and let Demon Cock feed on me, and <laughs> I'm gonna not do anything for the rest of this campaign. What? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't you, mate. I was getting a train. <laughs> Come on, it wasn't you. Jim, you're uh, you're not gonna intentionally tell him to feed on Daedal. He's going to roll for it. If he does roll, however, Daedal is coming for you. It's just the way of the dice. There's nothing you can do about that. But you're Daedal, not intentionally you're, doing you're it, You're the Jim. Goblin King, mate. You're the Goblin King. Be, you, be you can you can survive a proud. little bit of blood sucking from a demon cock. You've got plenty of blood in that goblin body. He just needs a little bit to save him. I got, I got 20 blood. He rolls 91. He manages to uh, to subdue the urge. Mm. It's on, your Daedal. turn now, Jim. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm not happy that, that, that these two just ran away and left me in a room with loads of bats. Like, well, what the fuck? Exa- that's not exactly what That wasn't what the plan. Happened, Jimmy. That is exactly, is literally exactly what happened. And I guess I've heard, I guess I've heard my, my brother in arms, Dimrath, getting terrified, flash PTSD flashbacks from all the fire that you've burned in his face. I mean, I'm not very happy at this point as Judge Dacker, so I think my demon cock deserves to feed. <laughs> I tried to save everyone. That's what I did. Well, you did it badly. He did. He did. Yeah, that might be the case, but <laughs> I don't see anyone doing anything reasonably well here. Well, I mean, I, I cut one in half and saved my cock, so I think I did pretty well. Yeah, that is one bad. I, then I did try. Then I did try to help you in your idiotic harebrained idea, which I, it, admittedly, I was foolish to help you to. <laughs> <laughs> demon card, which is also foolish, being as you now literally am trying to use it to kill me. I'm not trying to kill you. He just, I mean, he just needs to feed. He just needs, you are, you he guys, just needs uh, to feed. You guys no, are on I'm the same with him for the entirety of my turn. You guys are on the same team. You uh, play nice, boys. Play. He nice. has to Jim, feed. Jim, you're not gonna, f- you're not gonna get him to kill Dadel. I'm not killing him. Him. Dadel, yeah, I bet just you could, feed. Okay. Why don't you explain that to him in char- Why don't you explain that to him in character? Okay. <laughs> I've already explained it. Look, Flago, my demon cock has become a vampire. It has to feed to stay alive. It needs it needs humanoid blood. A little bit of you, blood. I told it just you, needs a little bit of blood. I told you that that's okay. That I'll help him sustain. But I'm not. I, we have to prioritize. He needs it now. He needs it now, Flago. No, he doesn't. He I needs it now. He managed to control himself. He needs it now. That's right around here. He needs it now. No. He needs it now. So bear in mind, Dadel, you, your character doesn't know this, but to give you the context, um, if he doesn't feed and he does frenzy, he is going to start drinking blood from the nearest humanoid and he is not going to stop until he is sated. That means, feasibly, if he went for you, he could drain you dry. Yeah. He just needs a little bit to keep him going. Okay, Flago? He just needs a little bit. He doesn't need it now. He passed his check. He needs a little bit. Yes, he needs it now. Oh, my God. Jim, 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 he's not going to give you the blood. You're just going to have to deal with it. It He's going to have to take it, then. He's just going to have to take it. Uh, He's not taking the blood. Well, I'll run out and follow Dimmy then. Are you running out of the room? Yeah, as fast okay. as I can go. Push him away. Come on, get yeah. rid of him. Go Are you going to grab Daedal on the way out? No. Why would I do that? Oh, come You're on. You're going to help like, him because he's like, part of your party. Yeah. Like, let's sort this no. out now. No. Trent started this. Trent started this. There's, 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 I'm running. I'm running out. I'm running out as fast as I can. But there's three bats, right? There's you. The they left there. me in the room with the bats. I'm leaving them in the room with the bats. I think that's Mate, quite all okay. Of you left up. Oh my god! What? You lot left me outside. I I went to save Dalton. Did? And, and then you and lot left Trent me shut outside. the door. Trent shut the door. I didn't shut the door. You weren't complaining. I'm trying. You weren't complaining until the bats we came in. The door on you. I know, and then and then I got left as well by Tren and Dadel. No, Dadel no, uh, and Tren went out to help Dimrath and uh, and Dalton. Yeah, the one that was dying. No, they were dying, Jim. You heard the screaming. You heard the screaming and the blood. Come on, Drud, Judge. Come on, Judge. God. You're Do training, right Jim. You 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 grew up on the city wall. You're a you're a guard of the city, right? Your job is to protect people, even if they do you wrong. You have that righteous knowledge, Jim, that he has done you wrong, and you know Dude. that. You're not going to forget him. You Do don't have right to thing. forgive him for it, but you're going to do the right thing, aren't you? So well, like, tell tell me what to do, to then, and I'll do it. No, 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 Jim, just stop being No, Jimmy. you tell me what to do, and I'll do Jim, it. Yeah. What, what is the right thing for your character to do? Judge. You're upset, you're pissed off, right? Yeah, he's really fucking... He's been really pissed off this whole fucking adventure. He's really, really fucking pissed off. So I think, and then he won't let him feed, so I think fuck him, right? Like, right. I think that's reasonable. But no, I'll I'll shoot one of the bats with my bow. How 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 many bats that's are alive That's a jolly in the thing room? to do. Are all three of those bats alive? 
three right. minutes. I rolled a okay. five. Well, I've got loads to hit anyway, so let's see. Yeah, good. Good. Well, just, you yeah. wanted to go out of there, so go out of there. Right, 13. Do I hit him on a 13? You hit the bat on a 13. Brilliant. How much damage are you doing? I do eight damage. Oh. Cool. Uh, you pin it up against the wall, Jim. Lovely. It embeds into the wall. You've uh, you got a bonus action. You've got movement. What do you want to do? Well, I don't know. Da do Get a break dance. Out the room. Do a break dance. <laughs> You're gonna do a break dance. Yeah. Make a make a performance check for me, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> go on, roll a one. I rolled a five. So there you go. You rolled a five. Yeah. Let's see if uh, let's see if the bats enjoy this. <laughs> the bats roll the four, Jim. Oh. So uh, your break dance is a success, and you've intimidated the bats. You're break mm -hmm. dancing in the corner. Demon it's cock is uh, here, right. His legs are flying around. Yeah. Demon cock is doing a windmill on his back at the, uh, at the same time. Brilliant. And uh, they're very impressed. The bats are enamored, Jim. Good. Do I still have my torch? Yeah, burn yes. Jim. Burn <coughs> Jim with it. <laughs> burn they, it's, it's your turn next. Who's turn? Right. So they're scared. <laughs> oh, he's fucking living. They're scared, are they? The they're bats. enamored by Jim's dancing. Oh, all right, so I can light one of them on fire because it, like it's distracted. You can try. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, sneak up, uh, seeing as it's enamored. You uh, I'm... you sneak up underneath them, and they are too high for you to reach. Can I ask Jim to lift me up? You can, whether or not he wants to do that. Is, uh, whether or not he wants to do that is a different story. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we talking about lift up, like just normal lift up, or are we talking I'll, lift up like I'll dirty punt dancing? Him. No, no, I'll are punt we, him, I'll yeah. punt him. Oh, he's just a goblin, right? I'll punt him so he can get high like that. That's pretty good, right? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, all right, I'll let him pump me. Yeah. That's good. Kick teammate. It's a, it's a real skill in Blood Bowl. Yeah, you can, do, you can kick teammate, sure. <laughs> <laughs> make a uh, strength check, Jim. Dade will make an acrobatics check. The runt punt. Yeah. <laughs> Dado, you're going to put one hand oh, over your nuts, I assume, right? And Ooh. the other hand is going to be holding the torch. You punt him, Jim. Mm. Dade will make an acrobatics check. Six. You uh, you go <laughs> flying up into the air, Dado, past the bats, <laughs> and you smack your head up against the uh, up against the roof and come crashing down, and you are going to take. 16 points of damage as you come down head first, <laughs> no. smashing into the ground. There you go, there's blood for your cock. I was gonna hold yep. out my hand when blood's, I came uh, down. Blood's, but... blood's flying out, spurting, dribbling out on the floor. Demon cock runs over and starts lapping it up. Demon blood cock is now blood stated. Blood. So, uh, I'm basically dead. No, you're not, you're not. Hey, what's your health? You've you got a reasonable amount of health. No, you took away half of it, so I've got 20 to start with. Yeah, so you took got how much left? Four. That's plenty of health. Plenty of health. <laughs> right. Your uh, your skull is a bit cracked, by the way. <laughs> yeah, Sorry, obviously it, blood it, is gushing out. It's got a tea cozy. It's all right. It's yeah, exactly. Yeah, the tea cozy. Yeah. Tea, cozy hold it tea cozy's holding in your brains just about. Mm. Just like real life. <laughs> What's holding in his brains? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Up next is Tren. Tren, what are you doing? You see, uh, you see a goblin getting punted across the room. You're right there, Tren. No, Tren's. Uh, Tren's dying. Concussion. Yeah. Yeah, concussion. I do yeah. have a concussion. You're concussed. You you're looking around and you got up and you're stumbling and you think, was that a goblin that just went flying across the room? Did I hear a scream as something hit the ground? I'll wander and stumble my way into the room. You stumble your way into the room. There's a there's a guy in the corner. You don't know who he is. There's a guy there. There are these floating things in the sky, and then you see your friend on the ground bleeding out, and uh, and a cock licking up his blood. <laughs> I will try and grab the flying things in the air. Yeah. Make yeah. a make a strength. Do I make a dex check for me? What did you roll? Six. Six. Uh, you, you you flail your arms in the air and you can't grab them. You're trying. They're too high for you. Okay. 
Um, as I'm doing this, I'll walk over to Daedal. As you're going to walk past the bats, they're going to make an attack of opportune on you. Okay. They roll a natural one, so they're uh, they're just gonna they're still enamored by Jim's uh, Jim's breakdancing from earlier. <laughs> you make your way over to Daedal. And I'll try and um, help Daedal up. Yeah. Are you gonna you gonna give him a potion? You gonna help him in any way? He's uh, his skull is cracked and he's bleeding. Yeah, I'll give him a potion and then um, help him up. Cool. So it'd be one d eight plus two. Am I rolling it? Yes. Well, eight plus two. Nice. Ten points of healing for you there, Daedal. Your skull starts to reform. Oh, you haven't rolled it. No, I did. I'm just seeing, because I've rolled two eights with this dice, so I was seeing yeah. if it... You're seeing if it rolls more eights, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so you're, you're stabilized, cool. Daedal. Your skull has come back together. The bleeding has stopped. Thanks, Tren. And then I pet Demon Card. Very nice. <laughs> He's, he's still licking up the blood off the floor. He's drinking it. He's covered in blood at the moment as he's yeah, rolling around. Yeah, making sure that it. he's happy. Lovely. Is he a happy cock, Jim? <laughs> he is now, yep. He's a happy cock. <laughs> yep. Problem solved. Lovely. Did, did you, sorry, did you say has, happy or massive? <laughs> a bit yeah. of both. <laughs> well, uh, Jim, he's engorged now, now, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Aren't, isn't Demon Cock roughly the same size as Daedal? Uh, no, he's like... Uh, I think he's like, smaller than the goblin. Yeah. How, how, I don't what? think so. He's, he's an abyssal cock, right? How big is the cock? Let me have a look. He's an abyssal <laughs> cock. Let me have a look. <laughs> how large are goblins? What are they classed as? Are they I'm classed gonna, as... I'm trying to find my size... But <laughs> are, they, are they classed as tiny? It, it's roughly this big. Mine's small, it says. Because oh, hey. abyssal, abyssal chickens are classed as tiny, right? <laughs> I remember you giving me like the... They are tiny uh, creatures about the size of a barnyard chicken. There you go. Where can, where can I read about the... Uh, a the goblin's size. definitely goblins. bigger than a chicken. I mean, come on. I'm just trying where to figure out. about my size? The base height of a goblin is two foot eleven. Wow, they're really small. It's like a snotling. So is that about the same size as uh, an abyssal chicken? How? What's? Oh, fuck's it, what's the average height of a chicken? <laughs> Six to eight inches, depending on. Uh, I'm just. I'm just trying to figure two out. Two foot. Two goblin. foot. Two. Two foot and uh, two three. Foot rooster, inches. where the hell do you farm? So, you could technically ride it. <laughs> you could ride his cock. Oh, God. Yes. Daedal is not riding my cock. I, I, oh, I, I, I am adamant oh, about this. <laughs> this. This is a hard line in the sand. <laughs> Daedal, since, you've, uh, since you've fed it blood, right, it has an affinity towards you now. It likes oh, you. God. Yes. It, uh, it wouldn't do anything. To, it wouldn't do anything to harm you. And if uh, if you wanted to ride it, it'd probably let you ride it. <laughs> I am now very, very happy, and I am keeping close to cock. You pet the demon cock. You, but you mind you him. can't. Bear in mind you can't see him. You can see the you armor. See the armor. And you I see can the feel armor. him. I can feel his feathers underneath my fingers. <laughs> you pet Jim's cock, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to be a cock rider. <laughs> right, there's still the problem with these bats in the fucking room. So how are we going to deal with the bats? Trent, you've uh, you've got... Oh, she's left. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jackpot, it's now your turn. I'm grabbing Jimmy by the side of his belt and we're gone, dude. We're going out that left tunnel and right out the way that I know how to get out of here. Are you getting out of the cave? Yeah. We, we think that they, that they screwed us and they tried to leave us behind. Trent shut the door mm. on us once. I, I agreed with you, but I wasn't allowed to. No, I said that you were allowed to. <laughs> we're, we're gone. We're moving left, and we're heading up. Yeah. We're going out the way that I know to go. 
Mm-hmm. You uh, you move left and you go up. Make a perception check for me, both of you. Seventeen. And Demi. Uh, hold on. Perception. Uh. Ten. Yeah, it's ten. And as you're uh, as you're walking along, um, something does get triggered. You uh, you missed it, unfortunately, Dimmy. Um, you weren't high enough, unfortunately, Jack Ball, to notice it, but Dimmy stepped on it. And let's see what trap is going to be activated. I wasn't high enough to see what he stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you didn't sure. <laughs> You are going to roll. Let me open up. Problem. Let me open up my trap table. Oh boy. Oh make, boy. Make sure you get the right folder, Foldy. Right. <laughs> just trying to figure out. Give me a minute. I just need to figure out how this works within context. I don't know if this can work, so I'm just going to re-roll it. <laughs> Okay. Uh, You start to feel tremors around you. (laughs) Are you going to do anything with that information? (laughs) Let me fix my camera. Oh, yeah. So there's there's things falling from above, I'm assuming. So (laughs) So at the moment, it's small tremors. Some rocks are shaking. You hear some rocks start to uh, to fall off all around. Yeah, so we'll just duck right. We'll just. Are you going to duck right? I'll start pushing him right. There are some. There are some rocks that are falling from the right as well. You're looking down the tunnel. Well, what else can we do? We got to get the hell out of here. Mm. We'll go. You know what? No, screw that. We'll go. We're gonna. We're gonna. If they're falling all around us, we're trudging straight forward. So remember, on this uh, this top part here, there is a thirty foot drop where a sinkhole is caved in. No, no, not there. We're going up. I know the way that we came in is the way we want to go out. Okay. So you start moving up. Yeah, I know that route. So that's the way we're going. You start moving up. We're going to roll for this. The event started. 16. The top entrance here. Where, where, just put your head there. Just up there. Rocks start to cave in. You could try and sprint through it if you wanted to. (laughs) I will... How fast is Jimmy? I'm, I'm going to make it no problem, man. I'm going to step in the wind and I'm gone. Mm. Don't do it, Jabal. But I don't want to, but I'm not leaving Dimmy behind because that's don't one of the reasons it. why I came here. Don't do it, Jabal. Come on. No, that's what I said. How fast is Dimmy? If Dimmy can't make it, I'm not leaving. I mean, heavy play armor. Well, okay, so how fast is he? <laughs> not fast. As this is going on, Dimmy, you start to calm down a little bit. You know, you're away from the you're away from the fire, you're away from all the commotion, and you're starting to calm down and you can think a little bit more rationally now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this moment to uh, reveal something about my character. And uh So I'm Dimrath the Exiled. And the reason I'm exiled is because You have to write it to uh, <laughs> <laughs> It's all right, you, you can. No, no, it's all right. You can, you can say it out loud. Just the rest of you wouldn't have this information. I was, I, I was the commander <laughs> of uh, Orc Legion, and I left, and they all, they were all murdered horrendously, and it was my fault. Ooh. And I swore to this day that I would never leave any of my brothers behind, despite. What they may or may have not done. And I will fight to the death. And uh, I'm going to grab you on the shoulder. And I'm just going to say we can't do this. We need to go back. It's mighty persuasive. What does, what does Dalton think I'm, about well, this? I'm not leaving him. Even though I think it might be stupid because of the way that they treated us. I'm not leaving his side. Hmm. If he, if he's, if this is where we go down, this is where we go down. I'm not leaving. Is, I will die there. I will die there for these people because I cannot live with the past crimes of my 
What a hero. Uh, like so, well put, what a hero. What a hero, Dim Rath is. What a hero. And, and of course, the soup. Well, I'm not a hero. The whole point. The whole. The whole point is I'm not a hero. And well, what I, I, you're trying. You're trying to avenge your past. I was. I was exiled out of shame because I left people behind. I heard hero. You got your vows yeah. never to look. You. You say exiled. Other people say hero. You know. It'd be also, like that. I don't want to actually hear you because like you're not in the same room. So All are right, you guys I'll, going I'll, back? I'll just look up at him and I'll say, if this is the way it's going to be, man, let's get it on. And I'll pull my uh, my dim saber out and I'll I'll walk back with him and we'll handle shit. Jimmy, who's your god? If you haven't got a god, pick a god. Um, <laughs> Who, who's your deity? I, I think I do have a deity. I mean, well, I don't know where it is on the sheet, though. Pick, pick one if you don't have one. If you can't think. Uh, War? A deity of war. Give me, give me, an, give me like any deity. His name is Bloodwiser. Bloodwiser the strong. Yeah, Bloodwiser yeah. the strong. Bloodwiser. <laughs> you know Bloodwiser. Note that. Note that down on your sheet for next time. But uh, yeah, <laughs> Bloodwiser. Here's your call, Dimmy. He uh, he understands the pain that you've gone through, and he understands exactly the righteousness. Four ounces tall. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is. <laughs> And he, uh, he, a divine beam, Dimmy, comes down from the sky into the cave and, uh, and bathes you and Jack Bull and like, you guys are going to have, you're going to have two sets of actions for this turn. And nice. you guys can make your actions now. So you can have two movement, two attacks, two bonus actions. You've been empowered. If I, if I do two attacks a turn, is that four attacks? Then? That is four attacks, yes. We gotta save him. We gotta save him. I'm I'm told you I'm following him. If he goes back, I'm going back. Okay. Are you running for it, Demi? I'm steaming in. I'm steaming in. I'm gonna let out a an orcish choir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so you guys, not... you guys use one set of movement to make it back this far. You're gonna use your <laughs> other movement to get into the room. Yes. Yeah. Who's going first? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm moving faster than he is. I'm lighter. I'm smaller. Yeah. I know where he's going. I'm moving in ahead of him, and I'm. I'm swinging at bats like All crazy. With my dim saber. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly. <laughs> God damn it! So you uh, you burst your way into the room. Both of you do. Well, I burst slightly louder. Bigger. <laughs> 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 You are a half orc. Compared to the rest of the group, you are big. Uh, <laughs> <be> louder. <laughs> so yeah, there are bats currently flying around in the air. What are you going to do? I'm swinging on him. You're going to swing? Go for it. Yeah, I'm swinging on him. Oh, man. Demi, you going to go for a swing as well with your warhammer? Yes, I'm going to... Go for a swing. From, from downtown as well. It's going to be like... <laughs> Ooh, like straight over the top. You're gonna try and catch it in midair at the peak of your hammer and swing it down, yeah? Yeah, I'm gonna crush that fool. Don't roll the one. <laughs> well, you say that, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Can't promise anything. <laughs> wow, so actually, it's 12, but I get bonuses, so... You get a plus two and then a plus four. Oh, uh, well, yeah, then in that case... Yeah, you hit it. 18. Back ball, what do you get? I rolled a 24 and a 16. Perfect. What? So do your uh, do your damage, both of you. Oh, mine's huge. Are you going to go for two, Jack Ball? Well, if, if Dimmy's got one, I'll just... Because there's only two left, right? Uh, I believe there's three in this pack. Okay, then yeah, I'll take two and Dimmy's go got the it. other one. Yep. Yeah, I rolled seven plus my... Uh, plus your bonus, modifier, yeah. Which is huge. Which What's your is, modifier? Like, what damage? Yeah. Uh, one d eight plus plus two, so nine. And then we were going to add a plus four to that as well to scale yeah, yeah, you yeah. up because you don't have 13, the correct weapons. Thirteen. Thirteen. How does it die? Like it literally. You hear the, <laughs> and then just mist of just bat. It goes into a red mist, yeah, as it explodes. Nice. Yeah. Blood yeah. and guts flying everywhere. Like it's all, dead. all over Patea, like <laughs> yeah. out of everyone, yeah, yeah like, blood. like right over the face. So like, 
in her mouth and she could taste it. <laughs> oh, nice. Delicious. <laughs> okay. And, and what's uh, what's Dalton gonna do here? I got a, I rolled a thirteen for dam. I'm sorry. A, yeah, thirteen for damage and ten for damage. Um, you're gonna kill one of them. How does it die? <laughs> it just oh, dies. No. I can't follow Dimmy. That was. <laughs> <laughs> It's just cut in two. It's on the ground. I can't do that to Patea. <laughs> so it's just going to cut in two and cleave to the ground. The other one, you're going to cut off one of its wings and it's going to be fluttering and, sque and screeching on the ground. I'm assuming you're going to finish it. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, how are you going to finish it? You're going to stomp it? i little life out with my boot or with my sandal. Yeah, you stomp it out. Combat is now over. God, how much pain can fucking nine bats cause you guys? <laughs> uh, too much. Like we we yes. we we didn't work together as a unit. No, you can no, say that like again. That. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a rousing speech. Give your rousing speech. I'm gonna give a rousing speech. I'm gonna say. Did whatever. You say you're gonna give a rousing speech. A rousing speech. Yeah. A rousing, yeah. Rousing yeah. Speech. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get aroused. I'm upset. I was upset. Demon cock's about... gonna like grow a little bit. <laughs> I, w I was upset. I was upset, and then I left. And then I thought, and I was like, and then I'm going to explain the story in great detail about what happened on the battlefield and why I left, and then why I was exiled. And then I'm going to say, like, we cannot let this happen again. Like this, this is it. We draw a line here, and we move on together, united, as a, as a team. Yeah, I'm sorry, Demi. Or Jimmy, I mean, it's it's not your fault. It's it's Patea's fault, but you know. Yeah, it's, I'm it's, sorry. It's, I shut the door on you, fault. Jimmy. She shut the door. I'm sorry. She shut the door. I'm sorry. I shut but the door but you on shouldn't have stayed out there. We tried to get in the, Jimmy shut to the door, the room to safety. But yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna give a rousing speech, and I, like there'll be uh, orc tears in my eyes. You can have an inspiration <laughs> point, Jimmy. At any point, you can re-roll any roll that you want. Oh, amazing! I've got the dog in. Hold on. <laughs> He just walks, he walks off out the room, opens up the door because he's got to let the dog in. <laughs> the dog barking in the distance in the uh, in the cave. Why are there three yeses and... <laughs> There's four yeses and one no. <laughs> Great Paul Foley. So you've got a friendship affinity with Demon Cock now, Daedal. Which is good. Trent, you've become slightly less manic, and you now realise that you've uh, you've got to protect your friends, even if they are just uh, a means to money for you. Okay, <laughs> I can do that. I will. I will put my I past. I will put my past behind me, and I will give up the cult of the dragon. Oh wow! Oh wow! What? Oh, wow! That's pretty huge. You know what, Demi? You can have this cloak. You can have a cloak. <laughs> you, are, you don't want that cloak. It's evil. It's literally evil. You don't it's want not, that cloak. It's not a co cloaca. <laughs> I forgot the word as I was speaking. <laughs> it's okay, Trent. It'll happen to anyone. Cloak, people. Cloak, people. Cloak, people. Cloak, people. Jack, Jack will have... reaffirmed in his knowledge that he's, uh, that he's a good person and helps others. And Jim has become slightly less jaded from his time on the wall and mm. realizes that we have to work together as a team in order to in order to get any success sometimes. And you've gonna, become gonna, better people. I'm going to pull out my owlbear claw and I'm going to look at Jim and I'm going to go, here's a cod piece for demon cock. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh. Glorious. Glorious. You are... You get you get some string out of your uh, out your satchel and you tie it around Demon Cock's armor because it conveniently doesn't have a cod piece <laughs> and uh, and now he has a claw. Jim, your uh, your Demon Cock can have an extra plus one anytime he's uh, oh. anytime he's doing. What has he got? He's got so demonic. Is it demonic the, peck? What's the other one? Um, so the claw gives as you primeval know, peck. Me as and a plus six claws. Hit, one d six plus six damage. But because he's not actually using it, anytime it's uh, anytime he's making a claw attack, Jim, he's in that has an extra claw, so he's going to do an extra one point of damage. Oh baby, oh baby! Right, 
What are you guys gonna do with the rest of this? You uh, oh, you start I, I, to... I'm gonna start taking out my uh, sewing kit and start working on a saddle. Yeah. <laughs> what, you, what, what? You can use this mantle you gonna, if you want. What? <laughs> He's so gonna make it. Look, just, a, just a reminder. <laughs> just a reminder. So inspiring speech. So a saddle. Okay, just a reminder. Inspiring speech. You go so a saddle. Yeah. <laughs> the uh. <laughs> The black spider, Nazar, is currently also in the cave trying to get to the Forge of Spells before you. If you wanted to try and make a saddle, you guys could rest up for a, for a bit. You could heal. You could get your spell slots back. But uh, it's, it's a choice if you want to make that choice or not. No, we haven't got time for that. Also, you can't ride something smaller than you. That's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. The we, they're the same the size. You still they're can't ride size. something the same size as you. I definitely can. Have you seen a horse? They're massive. <laughs> um, have you seen the zombie baby zombies on chickens in Minecraft? Yes. It's definitely a thing. It's, it's not real. So, Dado, obviously, a because you're. It's not. Because <laughs> Because it's you're not, not proficient. Jim, I will let him feed off of me whenever he needs to in order to lead, uh, ride him. Bearing in mind, Jim, you get to control him now. It's not it's, it's not it's not Dale who chooses where Demon Cock goes. You still choose where Demon Cock goes. Okay, I just I'm not okay with the idea of Dale riding my cock. <laughs> I'm a Dale, cock it would be it would be difficult by the way, Dale. Yes. <laughs> It'll be difficult because you don't have you don't have training all the time. Oh my god! But I do think it's a glorious chance to get into battle, like when I'm needed in battle and not needed as a healer. Yeah, you could heal from the cock. Yeah, and I can I can charge with it. So are you guys are you guys taking off. are you guys taking a short rest to eat, regain some spell slots, and make a saddle? Or are you going to go? Because I believe some of you have expended your spell slots. Yeah, I don't have basically any spells left. Yeah, I'll, At I'll any do point, whatever I'm told to do. At any I'm, point, I, Jim. I'm, I'm okay with all of you guys' uh, choice. I'm just saying that I basically can only do cantrips. Alright, so you guys taking a short rest, yeah? Oh, you put it to a vote. Who wants, yeah, to, who wants to take a short rest? rest? Me. Like what, yeah. what? What? So we're actually competing with someone to get to this important place. Yeah, we're just gonna have a rest for a few hours while you saw well, us. A short, a short rest. Ludicrous. A short rest it's is like ludicrous. twenty thirty minutes, Jim. Twenty we, we thirty minutes. We shouldn't have any rests. No breaks. We're racing against the clock. All right, then no breaks. The I'm world, the world, the Earth is on the line. You know what I mean? Like the fate of the world hangs in the balance. <laughs> Like, I don't know. I don't know if I well, should just do whatever. I'll you. do what everyone else says. I don't care. To convince you, by the way, Jim. I'm no, no, no. It's, Jim, Jim, it's a valid point, right? And you explain this to the group. Um, it's your guy's decision. You'd make it as a group. But Jim has a valid point. If yes. uh, if you don't get to the Forger spells quick enough, they're, they're going to get the power for them. Nizar's going to get the power for themselves and uh, and end the village. And, uh, and yeah, it's not going to be good. So what's going to happen? Are you going to chance it? Wait for 30 minutes? Heal up? Eat up? Or are you no. going to power on ahead? I'm, vo I'm voting with Jimmy. No. Yeah. We're yeah. powering through. Though Dadle should heal himself and like neck some potions or whatever. I, think, I yeah. think, I think, hang on. I think the only way that Dadle agrees is if, if Jimmy delivers an inspiring speech. Oh, no. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I can't Jim, deliver, deliver an inspiring I can't deliver on. inspiring speeches. In, 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 your, your, your judge, your judge, mate. No. Judge if we get out of this cave alive, we all get good soup. <laughs> oh my god! This is, go. like, I, like honestly, <laughs> I was like, oh man. Oh I was man. The sandwiches oh, man. that the sandwich man gave you. Yeah, we can go steal his sandwiches. Right, so we're, we're all gonna have to imagine that Jim's just delivered an inspiring speech. I mean, he yeah. inspired me to change my vote. So. Yeah, I think to be fair, right? We need to get cracking on. Let's go, let's go, lads. Let's go, yeah. let's go and kill some stuff quickly. Right. Who's and leading? I assume you're. I assume you're leading, Jim, right? No, yeah, I would no, say no, Jim. no. Yeah, you're yeah, not leading. No, no, I should. So I'll do whatever I'm told. I'll do whatever I'm told. Jim, Jim, what do you want to do here? Because it's your, it's your turn. I'll what just, I'll, do? I'll just wait and act later. Ah, oh, Jim, come on. 
<laughs> Jim, you're uh, you're leading the way. Which way do you want to go? Which way north. do you want to go? The convoy has started. Yeah, north. Where we haven't been. You're going before, north. Obviously. There's no point going north. Do you want me to zoom out so we can have a look we're, at the map? We're ignoring the skeleton door. Yeah, well, we, we know the skeleton's in there. Then that's not going to be the leader, is it? So, are you going to go up and around here, or are we going to go straight to the right? Are we going to loop all the way back up to that uh, that water, the water pool area? And go well, let's go it? all the back way back up to the water. Yeah, let's go back. So to we're going to go all water. the way back up to the water. All okay. the way back up to the crab water. The crab Did all water. of that rock falling stop? Oh yeah, the rock um, falling. Yeah, so yeah. a couple of the a couple of the ways are uh, are like caved off, but you manage to make your way through. Like the charred room earlier, you go through there. Mm. Um, actually, as you go through Dim Wrath. There is uh, there is conveniently one chest left in the uh, in the room. You get oh, to roll amazing. on the magical item table. Oh, what do I roll for that? I don't know if I've got a dice. Roll a D one hundred for me. Oh, I don't. I don't oh. So how do I do that? Oh. Uh, I can roll it for you if you don't. Have yeah, roll it for me. Roll it for <laughs> me because I've only got up to a D twenty. You could just do two D tens, Dimmy. The first one's the tens, and the second. You oh, rolled. That's you right. rolled a ninety six. Oh my oh. god. Oh my god. Oh. I rolled like a four you, um, and a seven and an eight. <laughs> do you remember back to Do you remember back to episode one that uh, that wasn't recorded and what you rolled? Oh, oh, it was something ridiculous. Um No, I don't. It was I the don't. same roll. And what did you get from the magical item table? Oh my god. I wrote it on the sheet, but then obviously the sheet got lost. In Sovereign it. something. Sovereign. Oh, the glue! The glue, Dimrath! No way. You get another vial. Of no, way. <laughs> no way! No way! <laughs> no way! No oh way! The glue. <laughs> what I'm going to say as well is uh, as this is going on, you guys are all in the room with him. You're going to take a short rest for 20 minutes, and you are going to get half of your spell slots, back because Dimmy has to pry open the chest. He has to uh, make it through. Yeah. So you oh, guys get half your spell slots back. Sniff the glue. <laughs> <laughs> What's this glue? <laughs> it's, mate, my, my back got, like, ripped in half. I you, uh, yeah, you, you sniff I... the glue, by the way, and, uh, and you get the best high of your life, albeit for about five seconds. Uh, Jimmy, can but you, it can is, you uh, it is the best time of making up his uh, saddle with that glue. <laughs> no, 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 Jack Balls. This glue is really, really expensive. Like we we found out after we wasted the glue on my back that this... it's worth a lot. That yeah, 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 yeah. You, you don't you don't mess about with this glue. Like this <laughs> this glue is like this is this is so sovereign glue is worth. It's a legendary item. Um and it basically permanently bonds two objects together until you get universal soul. Oh, can I bond um, Jimmy and Dadle together? <laughs> oh no. my god! No. <laughs> no. You can't. <laughs> no. <Yes. laughs> but it's, it's worth 600 gold pieces. It is an expensive, expensive item. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, oh, God. you guys make it up here. What's what's that? The human centipede? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! The centipede of content. We need we need Artemis for the, for the human centipede. The centipede of life, actually, that's what it was. <laughs> oh God! Right. You make it to the stairs. Right, switch on, switch on. Let's go. So, what we're we gonna do here, Jim? <laughs> Right, it's gonna go up those stairs and then listen to the door in front. Let me quickly just bear with me. I need to get the number of which bloody sheet this was. Uh, I How do you know there's a door there, Jim? Number. Look, I can see it. Well, I don't Where? know there's a door. I don't Where know. can you see a know. door? But the, the room's blocked off, right? With <laughs> I don't know. Go, go, look up, look and see what's at the top of the stairs. Walk up the stairs. I don't fucking know. Bear with me. Which number is this? This is what's behind door number. Come Three, on. a new car. A <gasps> new car. Let's go. 
Let's go to the correct fucking table. Come on. Scrolling through PDFs. Guess what's that behind is... door number two? More shepherd's pie. Okay. So, a good there, is, of steamy soup. there is indeed a door here. So, you walk up here. There is a door. Oh. What are you going to do, Jim? Listen to the door. Listen You're going to listen to the door. door. Yeah. Make a perception check for me. Um, 11. The door says, I'm just the door, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> 11. <clears throat> 11. There's uh, the snarling coming from inside the uh, inside the room. Snarling. I'll go back and I'll say, there's snarling coming from inside the room. Somebody tell me what to do. Let's rush it. Let's rush it. Like, let's go. You're going that's to rush it. Let's go. No, 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 no. We've Daedal, learned you, um, from this. You have learned from this, yes. <laughs> Daedal, you go up to the uh, you go up to the room and you listen across it. Make a perception check for me. I see an investigation check, please. So Trent, Trent is the voice of reason now. <laughs> can uh, Daedal, can Daedal get a negative one because of his hat <laughs> covering his ears? <laughs> no, he he pulls up the side of the tea cozy. <laughs> Listens up against the door. Uh, Nineteen plus whatever I have. These are these are bugbears. Bugbears. Oh, bugbears. What's a bugbear? Bad. Oh, it's a bear. Very large bear. Yeah. Literally. How many? He said bear. these. He didn't say this. They're mm. bipedal. You are. Uh, you keep <laughs> listening, and you you're not sure. Anywhere from four to six, you think. What? A squad of bugbears. Good thing you didn't kick down that door. Right, <laughs> fuck that Richard. room then. Let's go north. We go north. Yeah. All right. We go up oh. north. We Let's keep leaving this. all these occupied doors behind us. I'm really worried about our way out. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Uh, you make your way up here. Let me unblock this. Mm, Jim. You uh, you peek around the corner, and there are two uh, entrances. You see in this room here, which what is room number. Yeah, uh, there's some there's some kind of bears in here. Let's have a look. Let me print my notes. Oh, it's not Paddington, is it? <laughs> Definitely not. Um, Does he have a yellow slicker? <laughs> is he in a marmalade sandwich? <laughs> right. So, Jim, there is a there is, is a big a rift. Here? That uh, that fills the uh, the eastern halls of the cavern as you're looking around to the cavern here. Let me uh, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it. Um, there's basically another there's basically another dip here. This one's only going to be about a ten foot drop, right? Mm. Um, the water is uh, is flowing in from the from the pool actually uh, from the west and is flowing down and out of the cave exit over there. It's uh, it's too small to see where it's going, but in the room you uh, you notice there's a doppelganger. And three bugbears. The doppelganger isn't currently disguised as anybody. Yep. So it's just a normal, a normal doppelganger. It's just a normal doppelganger. <laughs> what is a normal doppelganger? I don't know. Like a, a doppelganger, you've come across them before. They're shape-shifting creatures. Does, does Jim? Do, I'm sorry. Does Judge relay this to us? Um. Are you gonna whisper know. it back? I mean, I don't know. Yes. Has anyone got any fish pie on them? <laughs> Is there a fish? A sushi bake. Because we could, we could Wait, try we and crabs. we could try and <laughs> bait the bear. You know, like bear that bait. is a very good idea. Bear you are, you could, you could grab some of the crabs from the pool. <laughs> oh. There are crabs. Yeah, we there could, are crabs. We crabs. We, we I've heard that they're the best down. crabs anyone could you know ever what? get. Can okay. Can I cook them? Can I cook them? Because I make the best crabs. <laughs> yes, chef. Hey. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. <laughs> do we also have the fried bat? You do have the fried bat from earlier. <laughs> we only want one of them at a time, though. Like we don't want. Um... Can we like? So the, are the, these are bugbears or these are bears? Bugbears, but they uh, they act like bears. You what's know, the, the difference? Bears. Okay, what's so. the difference between a bugbear and a bear? They're bigger and nastier. Ah, oh, okay. And they have. Well, see, I've grabbed. I've grabbed. They're, they're goblin. Five crabs. Or hobgoblin creatures. Cool. Yeah, Cre Tren has run over and has uh, and has grabbed five crabs out of the pool and <laughs> run back. 
Yeah, but then we want to we want to plan this because otherwise he's going to come down a corridor and it's like one at one. And it's, isn't yeah, it? they've so. got dark vision as well. So why don't we what just if... try and stealthily go go no, and avoid no, 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 no. this what? room and go we're to the left? Set up a trap if we're gonna attract. What them. if we throw them at the doppelganger? Let's kill him, Jim. Let's kill him. Okay, yes, that. let's get the doppelganger and the bugbears to fight each other. Yes. Will they fight thing. each other? How? How does? I don't that know. Work? Let's find out. I throw the crabs at the doppelganger. Yeah, but no. Oh my <laughs> god. Trent, uh, Trent runs past and uh, and tosses the crabs. <laughs> Combat is now initiated. Roll for initiative. You know that speech I gave earlier. Yeah. Uh, yeah you can <laughs> see why. I, you can see why I didn't waste my breath on one. Disregard. Uh, seven. Yeah. What did you get? Seven. Seven. Twenty-two. Yeah. Thirteen. Alright. Yeah. One. Uh, sorry. I'm A natural ready. one. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to bank got, that for later. I got 11. 11. 11. Okay. What did you get, Jim? Seven. Seven. Okay. Um, I am baffled by Tren's decision and just looks in awe. <laughs> so, Tren, you uh, you toss the crabs over and you uh, and you hit the uh, the doppelganger. It turns around at you. It has no mouth, by the way, as it uh, as it looks over you and points at you. The bears, however, are attracted to the crabs. <laughs> And they are going to actually lunge for the crabs. Mm. <laughs> and let's have a look. Oh, they love! Oh, they love crabs. They love crabs. They are going to start tearing the doppelganger apart to get to these crabs. <laughs> yes, you fucking <laughs> I told you, I have the best crabs. <laughs> yeah, but now we we got a fight. Can we? We got to creep past. Four them, points surely. of damage. Eleven points oh, of damage. <laughs> eleven point. The doppelganger is dead. It has literally been ripped up. Right. So now should we use this as distraction to go the other way? Yes, we should run the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> but we might have to come back this way. Well, the, then we'll deal uh, with that later because, like, they won't know that we were even here. They have been thoroughly distracted. They love the. Yeah, Wait, the bears are the... the bears are gnawing at the crabs and are eating the corpse of the uh, eating the corpse <laughs> of is... the doppelganger as well. Is that is that waterway like crossable? Can we just cross that waterway? Yeah, you can cross over it. Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, you what? You guys kind of walk out into the room. And the bears are the bears are preoccupied with the crabs. Let's go. Uh, let's move. Crabs. Let's move. Let's yeah, move, then move, we're move. moving stealthily beyond, beyond yeah. them or past them. Why are you shaking your head, Dalton? Because <laughs> there's three fucking bugbears in there. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going into this room. Like, I'm, you're not uh, going into well, the room. No, if I'm allowed to not go in the room, I'll not go in the room. Of course, you're allowed to not go into the room, Jim. Okay, Thanks. so, fault. What do I know about bugbears so that I'm not going uh, into the top here? Very vicious creatures, larger so, than uh, larger than normal bears, and they will rip you to shreds. Okay, you've so, literally seen it demolish that doppelganger. Okay. Let's go to the left then and go up that corridor there. Well, I mean, yes. you guys could you guys could sneak past them here. I want to go west. To. I want to go west. I'm, I'm there is here. also here's, here's here's an option, boys and girl. So where we're standing right now, these these doppelganger these doppel these bugbears can only get down this hallway one at a time. All right. Yeah, no, so, we're not fighting them. That, we're not fighting them. You know, combat's, fight combat's, combat's, combat's over currently, by the way. You're not in combat. Yep, no, we're <clears> not in combat, but listen up, right? So I'll stand in front of uh, of Jim. I'm sorry, of Judge. Judge gets by me, can fire over me on one corridor. The other corridor, Dimmy's in front. With Dado behind him, Dado can fire his cantrips through his legs. Tren waits until something goes down and she finishes it off. <laughs> not the worst idea. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Because they, they can only come one at a time. They can only come at us one at a time. If they force their way by us, now there's an issue. But we there's, get. Um, I mean, they're a fucking bear. Have yeah. you seen a bear, Chuck? <laughs> it might be able to force its way past. It's a fucking and, bear. Oh, and there's oh, three oh, of them. Oh, yeah, but then. Us. That's exactly but, what I'm but, doing, we're this... in a race, right? We're in a race. Yeah. We, we, got, we, we, but we can't race. Annoying. Annoying. When we race to get out, we're going to get mauled by everything we've raced by. 
There we is a um, there is another there is another exit by the way over to the east side of the room just up here. Should you want to try and run past them, you could. I I want to go west. There's also another exit up to the uh, up to the top. I'll move this a little bit. See, there's an exit up to the top here, and uh -huh. there's also an exit over here. Should you want to go this way. Let's see what lies the other direction now that they're distracted. So and then the bugbears are back. distracted, yeah. Right? If there's see what this there is there, and then we can come back and do this later, right? If Very reasonable. Very yeah. reasonable. Uh, are you going up this way, Jim? Um, we're, we're yeah, I'm going up that crabs. way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can go get more crabs. Yeah. So well, there's there always is. more crabs. <laughs> There's always more crabs. Yeah, have you got like a satchel that you can stuff some crabs into? Well, well. Yeah, you could. You could you could stuff yeah, some crabs into it if you want. I'll, I'll, I will go fill my backpack to the brim with crabs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then you don't want them to like come after you because they smell the crabs. You know? That's mm. exactly right. <laughs> mm. Yeah, good point, good point. We can get the crabs when we need them, it's all okay. Yeah. okay. Okay, so... Jim, this room up here. You are uh, you open you part the double doors in front of you and you. Well, I want to listen. I want to listen first. Okay, it's up to you. I mean, I'm letting you part the double doors and have a quick look in if you wanted to. No, I want to listen no to the door. I want to listen okay. to the door. You listen at the door. There's a uh, there's some speech coming from there. You can't make out what it is, but it's humanoid. All right. So I'll so I'll whisper, I'll whisper to the rest of the group. There's humans in that humanoid speech. Mm. That's that's you. good, isn't it? That's better than bears and ghouls and bats. That we might be onto something here. You should unleash unleash demon cock on them. <laughs> I shall. I shall. <laughs> I shall unleash the cock. So are you gonna Are you gonna part the doors and peer in? Um, yes, very stealthily. Very stealthily. It's fine. You uh, you open the door, Jim. Oh. oh. And in that room, you see. Oh. Um. In the room, you have a look in. There's uh, there's somebody at an altar looking at it, and on the ground there are there are two giant spiders, and a young green dragon. The uh, oh. the person in front of you is uh, is clad and adorned in a uh, in cloth armor, and uh, and has a staff on his back. You look in the room. There are six marble pillars that uh, that line the walls of the hall. The north of it stands uh, a nine foot tall statue of a dwarf seated on a throne. Um, with a mighty warhammer across his lap. Statue of a dwarf. Yeah, big fucking That's dwarf. Ironic. That's large, ironic. <laughs> large, large emeralds. Big fuck off emeralds uh, gleam from the statue's eyes. Dust and debris covering the uh, the floor as it's it's been swept to one side. I, I I slowly move in front of Trent and put my arm across her waist, not allowing her to move forward. <laughs> Keep your hands off those emeralds. Rubies. Can you move the thing down a bit? Because they can't see the top. Fault. Oh, I'm trying to move the thing. You want to move it down like that? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, as, high as, that's as high as it will go. Yeah, that's How good. big is the dragon? Uh, it's a, a young dragon. green. It's a <laughs> young green dragon. It's still big. Um, I, I don't actually know how the young green dragon got into the room, considering <laughs> it is too big for those doors. However, <laughs> it is in that room, nonetheless. Maybe it was born there. Maybe it was born there. <laughs> it's, 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 about two it's about two times the size of, uh, of Dimrath, so it's big. <laughs> it really, must be really big if it's bigger than Dimrath. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. Who's the geezer at the altar? Is that the, uh, the shadow... Do you relay this to him? Um, it's not actually. It's uh, it's just a mage, from what you can tell. It doesn't look like the uh, the black spider. It doesn't look like a drow. Seems I, like a human mage. Can we do like a perception check to? Uh, Jim, Jim's already Jim's already put two and two together, and he realizes it's not the black spider. Hmm. Is this the altar that we need? Um, no, do no, we, it's not. Do we like? Get away from this room because, like, this seems like a pretty rowdy fight. This is a rowdy fight. A very rowdy. This is a rowdy fucking fight. Mm. Especially with bears up our ass as well. Yeah. <laughs> what if we lead a trail of crabs <laughs> and have the bears? <laughs> <laughs> the bears can rip the mage apart. 
Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> yes. She's a genius. <laughs> See, the evil genius has actually woken. He's no longer just evil. <laughs> Faulty looks stressed. <laughs> you, haven't, you haven't faced a dragon before, have you? No. no. I would. Uh, I would like to tell you out of character that they are fucking nasty. And if he uses his breath on you, you are one shot. You are going to die. Well, so uh, sick the bears, bears on him. You are. You are going to die. <laughs> Well, then, bye-bye bears. Yeah. The bears are going to get melted. Yeah, so then Good. we don't have a problem. And then you have to way. deal with an angry dragon. But it'll think the bears just walked in, not knowing yeah. that there were crabs. I'm a, I may not be a genius, but I think if I read between the lines, Fault Force is saying sneak past the bears. I would, I would suggest mm. that. That's a, that's a very good, <laughs> I mean, very good idea. Yeah. Personally. I mean, I mean but, uh, I'm not the smartest uh, guy in the room. We, but... we always <laughs> that Fall is pretty blunt when it comes to like saying <laughs> telling us what to do. And I, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not sure what, what bit you mean by blunt when he was saying you're going to die. Now, think... now doesn't doesn't Daedal have explosives? You are going to be letting Careful, explosives in a cave. Wait, 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 <laughs> I was going to ask about, like, mind controlling the dragon, but I figured, like, he's probably too magical of a being to be able to be mind controlled. Yeah, he'd be too high level for you. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Next turn. I don't believe a, a, a dragon's breath is magical in nature. No, it's poison in nature. Well, it depends so on it the dragon, yeah. So yeah, the dragon, it wouldn't the do dragon anything. Poison, poison breath in a cloud. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Right. So I'll I'll close these doors like Homer Simpson disappearing back. <laughs> You're just gonna Homer head. Simpson back. Yeah, just, <laughs> just gonna Homer push. Simpson back the doors. And I'll say, right, these are, you know, I I'll I've rolled some dice. I'll pretend to roll some dice and compare it to my intelligence and say dragons are fucking rowdy. I don't think we should lead some bears to fight a dragon. I think I think that's a bit too much for bears to handle. I mean, Jim, it's Jim, too much for us to handle. I Jim, think... as a guardsman on the wall, you would have seen dragons before, and you right. would have uh, you would have had the unfortunate uh, unfortunate privilege of having to fight them, and you know how bad they are. There you and go. And you use that experience to inform the others. There you go. It would be a very very unwise decision to try very and fight unwise. this dragon. And we we don't have we don't have Bron with a fucking crossbow, right? So we let's just let's just shut the fucking door. Let's. Distract these bears with some more fucking crabs, and let's get the fuck out of here. That is a very a, reasonable. I really want to ride a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> you will not, but I'll tell you this, you will not be able to get close enough to that dragon before it eats you. Yeah, I know. But we'll put I, it that way. Th this is still... This is still taken. Like, you're, you're like you're like a yeah, nice green. Has said, it's, it's, has said in my brain that I want. You're, to you're like a nice something. green like pepperami stick, there, like a stick of pepperoni. That's what you are, and he would uh, he would just eat you. Um, no, I'm I'm with Jim. I I I I feel like the uh, the crab distraction plan has always been my favorite. So anything anything that involves throwing crabs to the bears, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> anything, that, the anything that involves riding cocks and crabs is brilliant for Dane. <laughs> so are you guys going to try and distract the bears? No. No? This doppelganger is now completely eaten. He's gone. He is dead. The bears are, we... are licking their lips. There are two exits currently to this cave. It is the top side and the bottom side here. Well, hey. I think we need to throw them more crabs. Keep mm. them. You want to toss some more crabs? I mean, I how many crabs can you crabs. fish? How many crabs are there in this pool over here? Let's have a look. Okay. <laughs> there are ten crabs left in the pool. 
So five distracted them for this long, like uh, us deliberating what to do, them devouring the... Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. We take all ten crabs, we throw five of them now, <laughs> sneak past, and we save another five for when we mind. sneak past again. Yeah, that's there, are, there are barrels in the previous room down here. They're scorched barrels, but there are still barrels in this room that you could store crabs in if you want to. Oh, store crabs in the barrel. Mm. And then what, Why carry the Run all the way back there to store crabs. Well, are you going to store it in a backpack? Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. That was a subtle hint, Dadle. <laughs> hey, if you want to store crabs in a backpack, all power to you. You can store the crabs in a backpack. Can't we kill them and then, like, store them in a backpack? I mean, bears like live crabs. I don't know how effective dead crabs would be at baiting yeah, bears. Yeah, all right. They, they like the chase. They like. Why the don't we just the leave them in the pool? Yeah, all right. Just take five now to distract them so we can get past. Yeah? So you grabbing five crabs? Who's grabbing the crabs? One is the uh, crabber. Oh, One me! Each. <laughs> <laughs> Friends got the best crabs. My crabs are nearly. Are you, uh, are you gonna grab a crab each, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not grabbing a crab. Trent can double fist that. Trent, you grab a crab? Dadle, you grabbing a crab? Yeah, I guess I have to since Jack will check Jim, out. you grabbing a crab? Yeah, I'm getting a crab. I want my hands free, Dadle. It's got nothing to do with, <sighs> with, with not wanting to touch a crab. Are you grabbing a crab, Jim? Yeah, I'll get a crab. Demon Cock grabbing a crab in his beak? Yeah, he is, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Dim Rath, you grabbing a crab? Yeah, I'm grabbing a crab. <laughs> Perfect. You sure you don't want to grab a crab, Jack Bull? No. There's a I'm crab good. there waiting for you. What's this? It's got, got your got, name on it. My, I've got my dim saber in one hand, and I'm just paying attention all around us at all times. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So you guys have grabbed the crabs. What's next? Are you going to try and distract the bears? Yeah, we're going to throw them over to the back yeah. wall. Or and we're gonna throw. You're and going to toss gonna... the crabs, yeah? So yeah. you're going in here. They, they don't seem to be occupied by you. You've gone into the room, right? They're still finishing off the crabs and the doppelganger. You managed to make it into the room. Not that close, Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. They're not. They, there's, there's a why ten am foot, I? Why am I the closest they're, one? They're in a ten foot ravine here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So where do we want to go, actually? Uh, we north. Gotta, we, north. If we want to go north, we throw the grabs to the south, and if we want to go to the south, we throw the grabs to the north, right? Let's go north. Yeah. North. North is. Uh... It looks Probably more space the there, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we throw the crabs on three uh, to the south. And then you, you're going to throw the crabs on three, and then you guys are going to sprint for the north, yeah? No, we're sneaking north. Yeah, we're not sneaking north. Sneaking attention. north. Yes. Sneaking. Right. It's going to be hard for Dimrath and Demoncock because they're clad in plate armor, but we can try. Okay, so you throw the crabs, the crabs go off, the distraction has been set, the bears are now eating the crabs. Who's going to go first? Me, I'll, I'll jump over, I'll jump over actually, because uh, we, we, I guess everyone else has got to go up and down. You could down probably, Jim, what's your, what's your dex? In. What's your dex modifier? Three. Plus three, yeah? Yeah, and I've got those magic boots, haven't I? You could, yeah, you got the boots, you could probably leap over to the other side yeah, without having cute. to go down into the ravine. Yeah, I'll just jump over. Yeah. Go for it. You're going to make a... Grab all of my cock. Jack, I'll, I'll grab all of my cock in one hand. Yeah. And then I'll just jump over, yeah. Anything Anything fun in the air? Uh, I mean, does it make it harder to land? <laughs> of course it does. <laughs> no, then. I'll just do it as safely as possible. Okay. You jump over 19. The Perfect. Are you going to tie off some rope there and drop it down? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. That sounds help. reasonable, right? Yeah, I'll help Maybe. these. I'll help these losers that can't jump massive, uh, <laughs> like thirty <laughs> foot distances. Do you can toss me over? Because last time I tried to climb down, I failed miserably. But you, you guys, to... uh, you guys sneak over, by the way. You want me to toss you? Yeah, toss me over to Jimmy. <laughs> okay, like, do you guys want to go first? I think I feel like I should be the last one that goes. Yeah, toss me now. All right, I'll toss you. I'll toss Dado off. <laughs> I'll toss you. <laughs> Never. If toss you're gonna do that, in. if you're gonna do that, you are gonna make noise and you are going to what? possibly aggro the bears because Dimrath is in plate armor. 
Or, or yeah. hang on, can one of you can one of you others toss off Daedal? <laughs> They're the same size as they do. Trend could try. I think. I am just gonna uh, try to be sneaky this time and actually make it. My dex isn't that bad. Okay, okay, Paul, here's, here's what I'm gonna do, Faulty. I'm gonna take my staff out, I'm gonna tell Data to hold on to the end of him, and I'm gonna let him down Yeah. the cavern side. So okay. that he can get to the rope so Jimmy can pull him up. And then I'm going to use a key point and I'm going to use Step of the Wind to double my <laughs> jump distance. And I'm just going to leap right across just like Jimmy did. Go for it. So that gets the him. little guy down. And yep. then Jimmy can pull the little guy up. Okay. Dado, you get pulled up. You already managed to climb up the rope and you get pulled up to the top as well. Which leaves Dimrath, Demon Cock, and Trends. Trends character. What are we doing? Demon Cock's on, on my side, by the way. I told him I'd gone under my. Got him, well, picked him up. So Demon Cox, Demon Cox, different. It's difficult because he's got plate armor on Jim. Did yeah. you did you pick him up? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I picked him up. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You pick him up. You pick him up, and you you manage to get across. Mm. No worries. Good. How far is the jump? Twenty foot. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> you can make it. You can make it, right? Yeah. I'll go. I'm gonna. Well, I'm gonna need okay, to I'm run gonna, up. I'm gonna. Oh shit! My staff is probably only about four feet, five feet long. Is that I was it? gonna throw my staff at you to use as a pole vault, but that ain't gonna work. <laughs> All right, you go, Tren. Go on, you go. Okay. I'll take a running leap and do a forward mm. roll in the air. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Right, no. make an acrobatics check. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no. Wait, are you drinking a can of Red Bull with a straw? <laughs> no, it's. A... I was gonna say. <laughs> um. So eighteen. Eighteen. Oh. Yes, you are. Uh, how how do you cross with Pike? <laughs> Yeah, so I, I run up. I do, I do a round off back here. Whisper, whisper to double, Jimmy. Should, should, double this is how it's done. Double backflip. <laughs> and I land perfectly in a gymnastics position, and I'm like, that's how you do it, Dimrath. That's how you do it. Do you land in a handstand and then uh, roll <laughs> and then kneel yep, and look yep. at Dimmy? That's how it's done. <laughs> Well, it is now. Now Dimrad's turn. No, Curtsy for the bears. One, there's only one thing left to do. If you fail this jump, I will warn you, you will alert the bears because you will come thudding down to the oh ground. My, oh no. And you will be in that ravine. If you fail this jump, it is a very high chance, I'd say a good 90% chance, that you are getting mauled, possibly losing limbs or and or your life. Right, so what I'm gonna do. I just don't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a cartwheel yeah. into a front flip, into a back flip, <laughs> into a somersault <laughs> over, the, over the ravine. Make an acrobatics check. Oh, God. So hang on, acrobatics. <laughs> oh my god. Nice also, I, got, I, got, I got a plus one. I got a plus one. Super effective. You could climb, you know. You don't have the magic boots. Could I throw. Oh, oh here's an idea, right? Before Dimmy k kills himself, could I throw yeah. my. Could I take my boots off, throw the magic boots over to Dimrath so he can, he can leap with the magic boots? Very good idea. Very good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Let's Dimrath, do that, you have Dimrath. you now have magical boots that allow you to jump twice as far. Okay. <laughs> so do I re-roll or do I just tell you what? I what did you get? <laughs> I, got a, I got a six. You've got you the point, your, though. You've got the point for you your, have your inspiration point. point. Oh, inspiration point. <laughs> re-roll it. Here we go. Oh boy. Natural one. <laughs> did you actually roll a natural one? I rolled a natural one. Goodbye, uh, guys. Goodbye. 
Goodbye. Um, goodbye. Good friends, goodbye. Right. <laughs> Christ. Um, quick, team. Think of a way to save him. There's no saving me, that's it. No, that's quick, it. toss all your crabs. Oh, yes. yes. I only have... What? You've already what? tossed the crabs. We tossed the crabs, we only took, we only took five, we didn't take the extra ones. The two people, the two people who are closest to the edge, which is Jack, Bolt, and Jim, you can have a reaction. Fireball have, the, fireball the, uh... You can have one action. Fireball the dying okay, orc, okay. yeah. <laughs> 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 Make sure he burns to death before the bears eat him. <laughs> Is, 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 are we reacting while he's in the air, or are we reacting when he's just thump on the ground and the bear's turn? He's in the air at the moment. You know he's not going to make it. All right, fireball the bears. Let's go. You fireballing the bears? I mean, have to, right? They're, they're going to notice a fucking okay, gigantic... Okay, go for a fireball. They're going to notice a gigantic thing. All right, what do I, how do I do it? That's a one, don't you, Jim? Isn't that a little more quiet? Pardon? You could wash away the bears. Into the <gasps> bubbles! <Yeah>. Bubble! <laughs> With the wand of bubbles, let's go. Right. Um, <laughs> I do have to roll the hit. So, in order to do this, Jim, you would have to jump down the cavern, and okay. then you'd have to point it at them. Oh, fuck me! I, I I threw away my fucking boots. Are you gonna do a? You're gonna do a moment of heroism. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, no, I don't have a... Uh, Describe no. to me, Jim, what happens. It just goes off. You've attuned to the wand. It just fires. Describe okay, to me what happens. Brilliant. Well, there you go. You know, it's a gigantic beam of bubbles. It, it, it's very forceful, and it beats back three fully grown bugbears <laughs> somehow, <laughs> and they just they just all drown to my bubbles. So you, uh, you point your hand out in front of you, Jim, and... Uh... And you go to use it, you close your eyes, and you use the spell that's enchanted onto the wand, and a literal torrent of bubbles uh, <laughs> flies out and starts pushing back the uh, the bugbears into the corner. Mm. You can hear them snarling and screeching. Um, this has bought you enough time, Dimmy. You come <laughs> crashing down, and you go smashing into the rocks. Um, you're going to take... Three points of damage, oh, and it's man. now your action. What do you want to do? I'm gonna like, like, sort of <clears throat> cough and choke and splutter and be like, "Whoa, <laughs> that's not how I saw that." You can, uh, <laughs> with, with those boots on, you could jump up. You don't even need to take the rope. Yeah, I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. You jump up. I'm gonna jump. Yeah, you succeed. You jump up, Jim. You are currently holding these bears back with your torrent of bubbles. I'd say you got about another couple of seconds left on the torrent before the one there, the one right. dispels its charge. Right. What are you going to do? A few <laughs> seconds, I'm going to say, toss me my boots of dim wrath. I'm going to be like, they're stuck. They're so small. <laughs> How big are your feet? <laughs> Can, can I run over to Dimrath and help him drag the shoes off of him? Yeah, you drag the shoes off. <laughs> yeah, Jim, Demon Cock it. comes running down and flutters down next to you using his wings, standing Wonderful. next to you. Wonderful. Wonderful. He's brought me my shoes, has he? You can, you can, he's, he's, he's jumped down with the shoes, yeah. You can tell yep. he's scared, though. You can tell he's not, okay. he's not happy. Okay, well, he helps me put my shoes on while I'm still holding. I'm still holding the wand out. Yep. One hand. You slot into the, the shoes. <laughs> yeah, make, slot a, into make shoe. a slight, make a slight of hand check for me. Make a slight of hand check. <laughs> Nineteen, believe it or not. Yeah, you get the boots on. Glorious, and then there you go. So obviously, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, let's go, demon cock. <laughs> Grab him up in one hand, <laughs> and then obviously let let you know let go of the uh, the bubbles as we jump up to the uh, as the, the as the torrent of uh, of bubbles stops, Jim. The uh, the bears start charging towards you, and you narrowly avoid them as they are stuck down there in the cavern, Four. snarling up at you. Yeah, brilliant. And then what, uh, the, the water what, the, what the heroism? What heroism? To, like, How many arrows do I have? Check your sheet. Hmm. Because they're, they're just stuck now, aren't they? 
The, ba- the bears are stuck down there, yeah. They're stuck down there. And, it's like shooting bears in pa- a ravine. Yeah, yeah. Potato's Pate- Pate- got a hand crossbow as well, right? Dadal, the, uh, to answer your question, the, the water is draining out the cave from the north side of the cave. Uh, right. Any water that would have been created... It's uh, it's going out that way. Fifty uh, arrows, right? It's it's like it's like a it's like a fo- you know uh you know like foam wrestling, right? Where uh, some lovely women get together and get in a pool full I of like foam, right? Know. It's like it's like that, but with bears. <laughs> they're, in, they're, in a, <laughs> they're, in, they're in a bubbly pool of. Uh, it's like uh, oh, girls on film, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. But with bears. <laughs> oh man, imagine that. Right. Well, I think, I think. Um, it's safe to Google what you're referencing. Yeah, it goes on film. Duran Duran. Fucking hell! How yeah. do you not know it goes on film? Jesus Christ! I, know that song. I don't know the video. It's Hungry amazing. like a wolf. It's an amazing. It's an amazing song, and it's a pretty good video. <laughs> I don't even think that was the best song they did. To be fair, it wasn't. No. But, but the, the video, the video was top notch. Top notch. Um, so I say to Patea, how many arrows have you got for your crossbow? And Dimlath's got a crossbow. How many arrows have you got as well, crossbow man? I'm not telling you. You're not telling me. I have a short bow. Uh, a short bow. I thought you had a crossbow. Short bow. Okay, they all well. have. They all have enough arrows. I, well, I don't. I don't want to waste all these arrows on these bears. Like we might. Need mate, them. we can buy more arrows later. Come on. <laughs> you can, um, we haven't finished you, our time. We can go down and get them. Bears. Pull them out. You can reclaim the arrows. Yeah, yeah, we can okay, pull them out. Okay, all right, all right, we'll spam the arrows. I've got, hang on, where is, I've got quite a lot of arrows. Before. I've got 50. Let's shoot the fuck out of 50? these bears. Perfect. Yeah, you guys have all got enough to kill these bears. Right. Yeah. So let's... How do they die? You take just... one bear each. Dimrath, how does your bear <laughs> die? It turns into a porcupine. <laughs> or like a hedgehog. It basically is completely skewered with arrows. Like... <laughs> You hear it screeching and snarling as it's dying yeah. on the floor. Yeah. You basically just I, rapid fire your uh, your crossbow, right? Just I, I turned him in. into Wheel Sonic. On yeah, I turned him into Sonic. Nice. Your one dies, Jim. How does your bear die? Same thing, innit? You just keep shooting it till it's dead. Just shoot pep it in the cup head. full of arrows, yeah? Shoot it in the head as much as you can, but obviously you're going to run out of space, then you've got to shoot in the body as well and just keep going till it's done. Yep. <laughs> you run out of space in the head. Well, you will, won't yeah. you? How's your bear die? <laughs> Trent, how does your bear die? Oh, um, an arrow bounces off the back wall and then re- rebounds. Ba- rebounds, yeah? Rebounds. <laughs> it goes straight through its skull and it's sticking out of its left left eye. Nice. What? <laughs> That's how it dies. Fifty euros oh, a piece. Trent one shot it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Congratulations. Those bears are dead. We're going to assume that you guys have gone down, picked out your arrows, and you've climbed back up. Yeah. 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 Yep. yep. That's totally what we did. Right. Perfect. And we will end it there for this session. Glorious. Mm. Congratulations on not dying again. Yep. Thank you for not killing Thanks. us, faulty. <laughs> You've, uh, you managed to clear a horde of bats. You recovered Dimrath. You found some crabs and killed some bears. That's Lovely. pretty good. Yep. Wonderful. <laughs> no, 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 no. And Dimmy got glue. And Dimmy got, got glue, glue, the important yeah. thing, yeah. Yeah. Dimrath, linen Robocop. Let's go. <laughs> um, yeah, well, fantastic. Yep, I thank you. I still got to see the fan art of Dado riding this demon cock, by the way. Oh, God. <laughs> we will receive it. I, I, will, I will make Whoever you Whoever draws that, art. don't forget that I gave him a, an owl bear claw cod piece. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dado riding a cock whilst crying. <laughs> Holding a crab, no doubt. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just going to quickly generate one on that uh, the AI image generator. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. oh yeah. God. I don't think it will be good enough. Right, um, that's it anyway for five idiots. Thank you very much, everybody, for 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 you know coming along and doing it. Glorious. Thanks, Faulty, we'll for, for doing it. See you next week. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Fuck you, Dimmy. <laughs>